One minute and face cam turns on. Hashtag real, hashtag not clickbait. Hi Electra, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. This is the, like, first time I'm talking today. This is morning peacing. Also, I woke up early. You know what I got? I got Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mac. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I woke up early. And, like, I haven't gone to Taco Bell in, like, six months. You know, I've been good. No, it's, it's not six months. More like three. I'm just, I'm exaggerating. <laughs> I haven't gone in, like, three months. Because before, because, like, I have one, like, relatively close, like, within a mile. So, like, sometimes, like, I'll go walk out at, like, 10 p.m. and, like, get a taco. But, like, I'm not going to do that anymore. So, I haven't gone for, like, three months. And the reason why I stopped going is, one, I was trying to be healthier. And also, two, they didn't have the nacho fries anymore. And today, in a moment of weakness, I opened the app. No reward options, but they had nacho fries, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get them. So I did. So I got... I got a nacho fry with the avocado ranch, because it's far superior. And then I got two crunch wraps. I had one at like seven, and then I have another one. On stand. The wrapper is so loud, listen. It's so loud, unnecessarily. You're brave for walking out at night like that? What's nice is that, like, I live in a city, or like... It's not like a big, big city, but it's like not a suburban, suburban area. So like, there's always somebody out. There's always like fucking a cab cops driving around. So, um, yeah. Like if, if anything happens, like there's usually a cop like a block away. But I, I feel relatively safe where I'm at. Also, if you make yourself like look like a wait, <laughs> like. How do I say this nicely? Okay, I'm turning face cam off. If you kind of like make yourself look like a freak, then people don't bother you, you know what I mean? Like if you look a little bit unkept, nobody will talk to you. You know, you know what I mean? So it's like, you're fine. Yeah, you, you gotta look like you're a little bit like kooky. Sorry. The stream just started. Also, hi, good morning, good afternoon. Let's do a little intro. It is May 29th, Thursday. No, it's Wednesday. I keep on thinking today is fucking Thursday. I mean, freaking. We're six minutes in, so we're not gonna get the VOD demonetized. But welcome in Mac and Electra. Guys, we have a VIP only chat room. We're elites right now. Um, what did I do yesterday? Did I. Oh my god, I forgot the last stream I did. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> so awkward the last stream i did was the stream ends when i beat lucia the wii sports resort table tennis champion and you know what i didn't do it i legit if you missed the vod don't watch it there's like no content it's just me taking l after l and then i fucking cry <gasps> and then the stream ended there's actually a little funny story about that so i tweeted out after the stream ended because like i was crying I face came off, and then I turned face came on, and I was yapping, and then the stream just cut out. And then we were on the not like this screen for like three minutes. Um, because what I didn't know is if your stream DCs, you still have to physically click the end stream button. Otherwise, it would just stay on the not like this screen. So now I know. Um, anyway. So, it was really funny. Because, <laughs> like, from a viewer perspective, people probably, like, thought I just ended the stream. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Wait, somebody has to give stream elements a sub. I'll do that later. Shit. It'll be in the budget next week. Anyway. So, I was like trying to figure out what the issue was with their internet because like, usually if the Wi-Fi goes down, the ethernet is fine because I have the ethernet on my computer. So I'm logging onto my internet trying to like reset it remotely because you know, I don't want to go downstairs. I hate stairs. So anyway, that's not working. It says your whole modem is offline. So I'm like, oh, what the frick? So I go downstairs and I see my sister and my roommate downstairs in the living room. And I see, cause we have like a little table for like the consoles and then the modem. I see the console table and the modem is moved and next to it is a PS3. 
and I see my roommate like sheepishly standing in the middle of the living room, and I look at him, and I'm like, hey. I'm like, I can see that the modem was moved. I'm like, hey, did you like move the modem? And he's like, no. <laughs> like, he's super nice and sweet, but like, he will just like lie when he, <laughs> for when it's like very obvious that he's lying. And he, he's not, like, doing it to be funny, I think. I think it's just a defense mechanism. So anyway, I'm like, hey, is that your PS3? He's like, yeah, I plugged it in. So I'm like, so you did move the modem? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I look around, I'm like, okay, did you unplug anything? He's like, no. I'm like, well, you must have unplugged something, because, like, our Wi-Fi and the Ethernet is out. I'm like, did you not notice that the light is not blinking? I'm like, did you not notice how YouTube stopped playing on your TV? Like... Anyway, so I look around at the cords, and I see- Okay, cause like it's a rickety ass table. We ordered the table from Walmart, and it was missing two screws, so like... The table, like the legs are crooked, so it never stands straight. <laughs> Pride month is coming up, guys. So... I look at the power cord, and you know what the only thing that's unplugged is? The modem power cable. Because the table like knocked it off the socket. So I'm like, guys, like, I wasn't upset, because, like, obviously, like, I was still, like, trying to calm down from crying. <laughs> so I'm like, guys, just, like, please be more careful and mindful, like, please. I was look, because, like, you sometimes I have my viewer count on when I stream, sometimes I don't. But usually, for more, like, planned streams or gimmick streams, I will have viewer count on, because I like to see, like, what makes people leave or come in. And the Lucia stream from Monday peaked at 10 viewers, which is crazy for a peace in stream, guys. And I looked at the end, I had 7 viewers, which is crazy for a peace in stream. So I'm sorry, guys. You know what? It's the roommate's fault. I, I, okay, legit, I would have. I was like wrapping off. I was like wrapping up the stream anyway, but then it DC'd, so you know what? I think that's more poetic. We'll just have to script that into the YouTube video now. <laughs> You're popping off? Yeah, thank you. I don't know, I think it was because it was holiday. And also, like, the the title alone is pretty good. But, obviously, I didn't beat her, and I cried. I don't know if I'm going to go back to that challenge, I'll be honest. I, I need to, like... You know, I'm definitely talking about it in therapy tomorrow. Is <laughs> what I'll say. <laughs> So, uh, I don't know if I can do it. Because, like, I, I don't think there was anything else that I wanted to say on Monday. But the main takeaway is, like, if I'm genuinely not having fun doing something on stream, I will stop. Like, I can understand if there's, like, lulls or more boring moments where, like, I'm not talking and that's whatever. But, like, if something is not enjoyable, I'm not gonna fucking do it. And I think the stupid table tennis challenge is becoming not enjoyable for me. Like, I had a nightmare about it uh, last night. Like, I'm not even kidding. I had a nightmare. I had a nightmare where, like, I genuinely got mad. And I went like this with the controller. But I hit my laptop and then the keys went everywhere. And then the, I woke up. So, I don't know if I'm gonna go back to it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I have to, like, actually practice. I got orange juice today. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so that was Monday. <laughs> and then yesterday, I did errands and I chilled. And then today, I got Taco Bell and I edited. Guys, no narps, but this Saturday's YouTube video is gonna be from the birthday stream. I'm not gonna say what segment. Oh, wait, also, I wanted to ask... Last year we did gauge quizzes. I want to do the same thing this year. For like the first stream of June. It'll either be like, how gay are you? Or like, what type of gay are you? One of the two. And whatever we don't do, we'll do next year. Do we want, how gay are you? Or what type of gay? Because I only want to do, like, an hour stream. 
Yeah, I think how was funnier because like I was thinking about like the YouTube thumbnail I could do and <laughs> It would just be me doing like a pog face or hand over mouth and then like a gauge of like a literal <laughs> like a dial gauge <laughs> So I'm just thinking of the emo <laughs> Yeah, that'll be the first stream of June. <laughs> I think I've done enough stalling. Also, my Twitter followers voted for what stream we're doing today. It was either 9 to 5 work sim or peace lock. You guys voted peace lock. Thank you, I got to sleep in today. But even though I still work up early. I got a little bit of work in. Um... <clears throat> You wanted the work sim? You know what's actually funny? Now you guys can't like narc or leak, but you guys know how I have a second Twitter account for my Twitch clips, right? So anytime like a poll that I have is close to a tie, I will go to my clips account and vote to make it a tie. And there was one time where it did like bot me in the ass where like nobody else voted and it ended in a tie. Because, let's be honest, if you go to a poll and that you see that it's tied, you like being the tiebreaker, right? So, now I'm not going to say what the Eclipse account voted for. But it's sometimes what I'll do. Because, you know, I don't, I don't got a lot of Twitter clouds, so, you know, we gotta bump the numbers. <laughs> okay, enough yapping. Let's get to work. It's going to be a long day. A very long day. Okay, you guys know the drill. We're going to do our little intro. <clears throat> it is day 18 of the Peace Lock 2024. Last time where we left off, I defeated the 7th gym, Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. So right now, today, we're going to be focusing on leveling up the 8th. So today, we're going to be focusing on leveling up my Pokemon for the 8th gym. I think I only want to level up Benetric and Magnemite. I think that'll be the strike. Because, you know, I don't need a whole team of electric Pokemon. So, we'll see how long this takes. I think this will probably take, like, three to four hours before we actually reach the gym. So, let's see. Also, there is a new channel point redemption. AMA, ask me anything. And you know what? The question will show on stream. I'm not even lying. But, I'm sorry, there is no TTS. Because the channel point redemption is only 200 points. And I know some of you guys are going to fucking misbehave. So no TTS, but it will show on screen with the normal alerts. Oh my god, it's May! Wait, is May's team- Does she have a Manectric? <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm fine. I, I breathed in wrong. Okay. I'm good. <sighs> Let's jump into it. <laughs> Man, we haven't played Peace Lock in what, a week? Pokemon fans are eating good. And you know what? I'm not gonna forget to start the live split this time. Oh yeah, we're back here. Oh yeah, Magnus has the Citrus Berry. Magnus and Manny. <laughs> Dude, the, the old people names it will never not be funny. Okay, I don't need to heal or anything. We are good to go. So, guys, get cozy. We're leveling all day. Every day. Pokemon. So we just need to get to level 46, bruh. I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Oh, wait, no narcs. Editor, cut this out. <laughs> but when we did the Lucia stream, there was, like, one chatter, and... Like, new follower, first time chat, they put L. And then they tried to bait me into saying I-C-U-P. Like, you know, the classic, and then I timed them out, and then they unfollowed the channel. <laughs> so, you know what? <laughs> it was because like i know
no. And also, okay, whenever, like, I get a little shitter, I look at their profile to see if they're a child, and they literally, in their bio, said they were, okay, they said they were, like, 16, 17. I was like, okay, I knew it. Because <laughs> usually the annoying chatters are just teenagers. You know? And, like, you can't be too mean to them. <laughs> but, like, more often than not, they know what they're doing. They know they're being fucking annoying. <laughs> when me and Kim play detective and expose that kid, I know, right? It's so funny. Like, I don't know. I, okay, I think it makes sense for, like, Twitch to be a 13 plus website. Like, that genuinely makes sense to me. Because, like, just, like, the content, like, a lot of games that people play are mature, like, shooting games. Or, like, there's some categories that are, like, deemed mature. You know, we love hot tubs. But, like, a 13-year-old, they're, like, so annoying. <laughs> like, in real life. Wait, this is a high-level Pokemon. Watch out. Grr, Chin Chow, I remember you. I'm scared. Oh yeah, Ralph and Magnus both have citrus berries, so have no fear, the berry is here. <laughs> it's so funny when they use flail. Die. And I also want to see, like, that chatter didn't bother me. Because, like, I, I think there's a difference between, like, somebody, like, knowingly being, like, annoying. Like, but that's because they're, like, immature. Like, I think there's a difference between, like, annoying and mean. Is Peace talking to kids again? Mods fucking ban Kim. I'm not even kidding. You know, Kim is, like, so nice to me when she, like, sends me, like, DMs. Even though she knows I won't answer, but in chat she's so mean. I can. I'm kidding. Can we get some yo's? Hello. <laughs> also, you guys are so mean, making me think that Kim got fired again. That just shows how, like, gullible I am. Which I am, because... You know, I've been watching a lot of lectures about dissociation, and I'm not saying that I suffer from it, but, like, it's weird because the real Peason, like, the real me, is so different than on-stream Peason. And I was thinking about it the other day. Because I was watching, like, a Dr. K, the Healthy Gamer GG, like, YouTube video on it. And I was like, shit. I was like, this video is calling me out. <laughs> But, you know, there's some, like, things that real-life Peason has to work on and face at some point, so... She's working towards it. I hope my messages make you laugh. Yeah, they do. They make me chuckle a little bit. <clears throat> <laughs> nice try, Chin Chow! What do you guys think if I did a 24-hour peace in channel? So you know how like PewDiePie has the reruns of his old YouTube videos? I know there's a few other channels that just have like their videos on the loop or repeat. Where they just rerun old streams. I wouldn't do that on this channel. But, like if I ever became clouded and I could like guarantee have like 500 people in that rerun channel, I would totally do it. Like, on an alt account? Because I know that, like, every single creator has viewers in, like, different parts of the world. Wait! Uh-oh. No! Don't kill me! Fuck! Die. That's the first time, like, the shell dude kind of cooked me a little bit. 
But, like, I don't need to freak out because I'm fine. Like, I don't need to lose my shit. I need to go buy more heals, like the baby heals. Yeah, let's just go to a Pokemon Center. We're right here anyway. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, 24-7 Peace and Channel. I would only do that if, like, I had clout and guaranteed viewers. Because the reason why people run those, like, 24-7 rerun channels is to, like, farm ads. And I feel like everybody knows that. But I, don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that, like, anytime soon. Unless I, like, blow up in, like, six months or some shit. Because I still have the opinion of... If you're going to stream, you should not stream for, like, hours and hours. Every day. Because if you stream too much, then what's going to make a stream special, right? Like, if you're live too much, you're not gonna have more time to think, more time to, like, physically rest. And, like, be able to be fully on for a camera. Like, if you think about traditional media, like, the actors who are in a union, they have, like, contracts that dictate, like, how many hours they are acting or working in a day. Like, no actor is on camera for eight hours a day. You know, that's not very common. So... I think if I ever did, like, a long stream, like, beating a game in one sitting, I don't know if I could do those. I said I would at some point, but, like, if the one sitting is longer than eight hours, ain't no way. Because I think if you do too many marathon streams, then you're too accessible. Don't already! Glam Pearl, take the L. Glam Pearl, more like Glam Pearl. God, it's cooking me! Okay, let's go back. <laughs> I forgot. If it's a level 30 Glam Pearl, I need to swap out. Like, the, the reason why I'm talking about, like, or explaining why I do shorter streams is, like, if I ever, like, grow, I I'm not gonna start doing, like, eight-hour streams five days a week. That's not happening. Ain't no way. The only way that could become, like, feasible is if I had, like, a full-time editor. Because, like, I was writing down, like, making an outline of, like, what my plan is for the next like, month in terms of, like, daily schedule, because if I'm gonna start doing paintings again, I'm gonna need to set aside, like, another 10 to 20 hours every week for that. So that could include, like, sketching, concepting out, researching, um, like, physically painting, potentially, um, live streaming. So that's gonna be, like, another 10 to 20 hours a week that I'm gonna have to, like, fit into my normal schedule because right now I stream an average of like 60 hours a month grr chin chow so that means every week I stream like 15 to 20 a week which is not a lot But then, I do spend another, like, 15 to 20 hours a week editing. Because, like, editing takes... Uh-oh. No, I'm paralyzed! You know what? Screw you. Oh, yeah, I have Volt Absorb. Die. Paralysis is not good. 
I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> you know what else is not good? Not following the peace in channel, because guys, we are... 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button, you get cool emotes, and you get to type of chat. Isn't that pretty sick? So follow right now. Turn that heart button purple. Anyway, so like right now I do about like um, 35 hours of w work. So that is streaming and editing. And that's the main things I do. So I'm going to have to like squeeze in another 10 to 20 for art. So I'm like, hmm. Peace I too, hmm. I might. Because an approach I want to do this year with the art website is obviously blogging. I think I want to do like a speed painting for every single art piece that I do. And I'm hoping to have pieces ready by the end of June. Because along with the launch of the pieces, I want to have blog posts and videos made as well. I think I want to work smaller. I want to do like 4x4 four four paintings. Just because obviously you can sell them for less and then also like those are quicker to do because they're smaller. I think I want to do mosaics because like I have a few like pattern like type designs like more modern symmetrical pattern work or tile patterns that I like but are just kind of like basic it's like kind of a nice but not nice way of saying it like for me in my opinion a lot of people don't appreciate more like abstract or pattern work because visibly it's simple but when you are, like, making a good pattern, you don't necessarily, like... It, okay, if you don't do art, you don't get it. I'm switching, because screw this guy. Like, there's so much, like, gritting and... <laughs> I wanted to see what it started off with. Okay. Like, there's gritting, there's alignment, there's, like, intent behind every single piece of that design. So even if it looks, even if it looks static or simple, the actual creative did everything with intent. But, like, I see this all the time with people online who chirp. Okay, when I say chirp, I, I sound so mean. But I see all these posts all the time of these, like, middle-aged white women... Starting, like, why does it say encoding overload? What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, my OBS. Let's see. Analyze. Okay, for some reason it says encoding overlord, but I'm literally just playing a simple Pokemon game. On my uh, GBA. Whoa, my camera is lagging, isn't it? Whoa. Uh-oh. <laughs> My mouse is lagging too. Okay, guys, does the game audio sound fine? Like, does it sound okay? I think it does. Okay. Because- Oh, wait, now it looks fine. Wait, because before, like, ten seconds ago? Because, like, you know when you look at an audio level bar, like, it's in real time? It was lagging. And I'll, Okay, everything looks fine now. Whoa, that was... That was scary. Okay. Guys, okay, tell me if anything, like, is bad today. Oh, yeah, my camera's not lagging anymore. Whoa! I don't know. It said encoding overload on in OBS. I've never seen that. Oh. You know what I have noticed, though? 
I did upgrade my NVIDIA drivers. And when I was playing Supermarket Simulator yesterday, it was lagging. Oh no, don't kill me! <laughs> it's paralyzed! Like, just in general, Supermarket Simulator, like, tanks my computer. That's why I can't stream it. Yeah, it's a PC game, but I definitely cannot stream it, because whenever I play Supermarket Simulator, it puts my RAM at, like, 100%. Like, I don't know why it takes so much RAM. <laughs> um. Or GPO, or whatever the fuck. They mean the same thing to me. I know they're not the same, but, like, to me, they're the same. Um. And, like, stream has been fine. Like, it was fine on the Monday stream. Wait, a level 35? Uh-oh. Yeah, I might need to roll back the update. But what I did notice... Because I will not narc, but... The game we're doing for Friday's... 9 to 5 sim, it may or may not be a PC game. So what I did notice, because I am streaming from a laptop, I don't have a dual monitor. If I make the window from full screen to like a lower res, it performs a bit better. Which makes sense, because like it's rendering less pixels and stuff on your screen. So now, when I play Supermarket Simulator, I have to play on a screen that's like half as big as my regular resolution. <laughs> for it to not lag anymore. So it's either I have to play windowed, like a small window mode, or maybe just uninstall the update. Man, let's go to level 20! Let's freaking go! Man, we have to get to level 46. Fuck. Yeah, I want to try making the TV another monitor. And I have done that. Because I was just fiddling around with it one day. But the problem is, it lags. Like, it's not in real time. So, it's not good for, like, playing a game. It would only be good if I'm, like, if I want to have, like, OBS or chat on another screen. But then at that point, it's kind of like, it's too far away. <laughs> like, it would have to be zoomed in to like 200% for me like, to reach it. I know there's some people who have like... Okay, I'll be honest, this is what I used to do. <laughs> but some people have like their Twitch stream open on their phone so they can reach it. So they can also like farm plus one viewer. <laughs> okay, let me clarify, I only did this for a week. Like, when I first started, I don't do it anymore. Because, you know, plus one ain't gonna help much. But it's so funny, like, I was thinking about this the other day. Because, like, I was watching a Jinxie video. And that's what he does. Like, he, he doesn't have, like, a monitor for a chat. So, like, he's like, wait, I gotta pull up chat. And then he pulls up his phone and reads his phone chat. It's the funniest thing. Dude, these young streamers are so fucking funny. Wait, I'm not- okay, I'm 25. I'm like, kinda young. It's weird, cause like, now- guys, am I old? Be honest. I'm 25 now. Have I peaked? Um, okay, I'm working on this joke. It's not a joke. We have to do Mario Kart soon, cause like, I got a bunch of little anecdotal stories that I gotta work on. But, you know, I don't want to go to a high school graduation. Or, sorry. I'm paralyzed. Fuck, dude. Like, seriously. Die. Okay, we're gonna go heal after this. Because... I know it's typical for high schools to have like a 5, 10, and then a 25 year reunion. And I just hit 7 years. So the next reunion- Wait, man, you're to level 29, let's go! So my next reunion is gonna be in 3 years. And I told myself, for any high school reunion that I could potentially maybe consider going to, like, I have to be somebody, I can't be a loser. You know, I was such a little scrub in high school. But that's because I had no, like, real friends, Sag. But I'm not going until, like, I have done something 
of substance from an outside point of view. Because I'm, like, fairly happy where I'm at. Like, I'm not super happy. Like, I'm not, like, proud to say that I, you know, I stay home all day and play video games. But obviously I'm disabled, so, you know, I have a, I have a little pass. But, because, like, I'm, I'm seven years out. So, like, all the people who went to med school, they're graduating next year. So, if I go to a 10-year high school graduation, like, half of those motherfuckers are gonna be doctors. So, it's like, if I'm gonna roll up to a reunion, I need to roll up, like, clouded or, like, being, like, a successful businessman with 10 billion cars in their garage. Because, you know, everyone else is gonna be a doctor, you know? Like, you're not gonna go to a high school reunion if you're a scrub who works at, like, Safeway or some shit. You know? You might as well just, like, not go. And, like... I know that's mean to say, and it's totally fine to be, like, content and happy with your day-to-day. -day. You know, get that bag. But the only people who go to a reunion are people who are trying to, like, maybe, like, rekindle old flames. Or people who want to show up. So if I'm gonna go, I want to show up. So guys, we got three years to get clout. Please help me. Anyway, so that's, like, the bit I'm working on, but I'm still, like, figuring out how to word it. When I say that I'm working on a bit, I don't write it down. Because... I say because a lot. I feel like I'm talking really funny today. <laughs> that's nasty re to refuel an old flame. I mean, that's what some people do, you know, they cheat on their wives. They go fuck their high school sweetheart again in the bathroom. I mean, this is all my guess. I don't know. I didn't have a high school sweetheart. So whenever I think about a bit, I think about it in my head. Because once I write it down, it's hard for me to change it when I write it down. I'm weird. Because I have the sentiment to where if something is brought into the physical world, then it makes it real. So, it's very hard for me to, like, write down my thoughts. Even though, like, okay. I still have my diaries that I wrote from, like, middle and high school. And, okay, I'm not reading them on stream. No matter what you guys will, like, offer me, I'm not doing it. But it's so funny, like, reading them. <laughs> because, oh, wait, I didn't heal. Wait, Ralph is not paralyzed! Yay! A lot of my entries are just like, I did this at school today, and I talked to so-and-so, or I tried to meet up with so-and-so in the hallways during passing period. And that's like, the entries. Like, so many of my diary entries are written like dialogue that you would see in a play. So it would be like, Peason said this. Bob said this, and I would just like write down the conversations that I had with my friends and people at school. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I never wrote anything too deep in my diary. Like, I didn't write my emo thoughts, because I have the same sentiment as I do now. Like, if I write something down, then it makes it real. Man, it's gonna take forever to level these guys up. Like, genuinely. Hi, Ryan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Guys, we have a rare Ryan appearance. Also, you like all my Instagram reels. I appreciate it. I don't have Instagram clout yet. So it means a lot. I wish I would have been, like, more emo in my diaries, though. Because it would have been, like, funny to look back at. Because I wasn't, like, super edgy when I was younger. Like, 
I, okay, if I would have, like, had the means to, like, or if I had the courage to, like, visibly express myself more, I probably would have been, like, emo or goth. Because, <laughs> like, I thought I had, like, similar sentiments. I just never dressed how I thought. Man, I, I wish I would have wrote more. I got a second job, so I've been sleeping a ton. Damn, get that bag? But also know your limits, man. I was a closet emo. Now I dress in all black as an adult. Oh my god, me too, man. <laughs> no, like, when we moved a year and a half ago, I didn't really throw out- Okay, I would never throw out clothes unless, like, they were, like, really bust up. When I say throw out, I meant donate. I'm sorry. I didn't, like, donate a lot of my clothes. I don't know. I have this weird attachment to clothes. Like, even if it doesn't fit in my head, I'm like, oh my god, maybe I'll, I'll fit in it again one day. But going- so I, I donated about a quarter of my wallet. My wallet. <laughs> Imagine my- No, I did not donate my wallet. Also, thank you for the resub exhibition. Thank you. Seven months in a row? Guys, you have not broken your streak. Thank you. Can we get some wex decisions in chat? Thank you. Also, welcome and can we get some yo's? Oh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like I donated about a quarter of my wardrobe. And the majority of the things that I donated were black clothes. Because like I didn't realize how much of my wardrobe was black. And it's not that I hate it. It's just I, w I want to wear more colors. So if I'm out shopping... I will only buy, like, if I'm going, um, how do I say, thrifting? I forgot the word for a second. If I go thrifting, I will only buy non-black clothes from this point on. And I started doing that about, like, six months ago. I will only buy black clothing if I can use it as, like, an undershirt or something. Or if I really like the texture. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Like, the top here is sheer. I like this a lot. So, like, if I find, like, a mesh or, like, a sheer black top. Not, okay, not... Not a completely mesh top, to be clear. I don't... Wait. <laughs> okay, I only own one completely mesh black top. But that's for, like, special occasions. And you guys will never see me wear it. Why'd I say... <laughs> Mods. You you guys will never see it. Anyway. So I will only buy black clothing if it's like a really interesting shape or texture. She's going to the club. <laughs> no, I... When did I even buy it? It was like... Okay, I'll tell you guys what it is. It's from Torrid. It's like one of those like... Like, one of those mesh, like, long sleeve, like, bralette tops, but it's completely, like, sheer. I bought it as, like, an under top. So, like, I, I would... I would never wear, like, just that. Like, you... you... I, I would never. Like, I bought it if I ever wore, like, a... Like, a strapless dress or something, which I, I would never buy anyway. So I don't know why I bought this mesh top. Can we just, like, move on? <laughs> Finally, after 35 minutes, Linus picked something up. Ooh, Sober Potion! Thank you! Um, guys, ask me anything. Use your channel points, please. I want to change the topic. I think the best analogy to compare streamer to viewer is a married couple. You know, we're just Telling each other the same old stories, this- <gasps> A Galalicant! Or a Relicant! Oh my god! 
We're just telling each other the same old stories, the same bits, the same jokes. Because we don't have anything else to tell. I'm workshopping that joke. I don't, that's like the premise of the joke or the anecdote, but I don't know how to push it. I thought about it this morning. Because I was talking to my friend, and I've been friends with this person for like years and years. And I was on a Discord call with them the other night. And we were, we were on the phone for like three hours, and legit... We just talked about shit that we talked about, like, the week before. <laughs> we were like, we need to get new content. What's my favorite Nintendo game? Oh my god, don't do me like that. Peace, I too. Hmm. Okay. Wait, Rock Tomb. Uh-oh. Die. Die. Sorry. I, okay, I need- I'm locking in. Imagine Ralph dies here. Like, genuinely imagine. I would literally fucking never stream again. I'm gonna go heal. Okay, my favorite Nintendo game. I'm gonna say my favorite from every console first, and then I'll, I'll like, dial it down. So the only consoles I've played are the Wii and the Switch. So not a big catalog. But I think my favorite from the Wii has to be Wii Party. The board game modes are really fun, and the minigames, I think, are some of the best minigames on the Wii for any game. For the Switch? Ooh! Oh wait, Mario Kart! <laughs> Why did that take me so long? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is my favorite game of all time. That's the only reason why I keep playing it. Okay, I'm not the best at it, but it's always gonna be a good time. It's not often that I, like, get upset playing that game. And to me, a big component of making something enjoyable is the replayability. Like, yes, I love a good story game. I love listening to the developers yap. You know, give me something to make me feel. But I want a game that I can play forever. And I genuinely feel like Mario Kart, I can play forever. And it's going back to the theme of, like, keeping the prize away from you. Because if you're good at Mario Kart, you know, you're probably going to win every time. But there's always the little glimmer of chance and luck that works against you with the item usage. And you know that keeps, it keeps your hope at bay. It's almost like gambling. You don't know what the result is going to be until like legitimately the last lap or even like the last half or the second half of the last lap. That's why I like it so much. But yeah, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, my favorite game. My favorite story game, though. Nobody watched me play this on stream, and when I say no- WHAT?! How does that do 13 damage? We gotta go heal. Nobody watched me play this on stream, and by nobody, I mean, like, I only had, throughout the five-hour streams that I did for this game, only, like, okay, so if you look at your stream analytics, you have, like, average viewers, which obviously is the average amount of people who watch the stream for more than ten minutes, and then, or sorry, like, I think it's five minutes they counted as. And then you have unique viewers, which is how many individual people click on your stream and then there's also like views which is clicks it counts as clicks so like how many people click the stream so that can mean like 100 people and then 50 people closed and reopened the stream again so for those little goody two show streams that i did which is a pixel rpg so dating slash puzzle game it was really good 
I think one of my favorite games of this past year. It came out in... I think it came out Fall 23, but I played it earlier this year. From those streams, I only had like five unique viewers for those streams, but I usually have like 20 to 25 people that click on any stream that I do. So that's like not good. Like nobody, or not a significant amount of people felt inclined to watch those streams, which makes sense because story games don't do well for live content. Because if you miss the first three hours of the story, you're gonna be lost. So it's better if you just like watch the bot, like from a viewer perspective. But that was my favorite game, I think, of this year so far. Even though it came out last year. Um, it was visually nice. It was like a little dating sim, and I didn't think it was gonna be a dating sim. And I think Little Goody Two Shoes is available- I think it's Switch and PC. I played the Switch version, though. But the soundtrack is amazing. I've played the music on stream before. It's very whimsical. I kind of want to play it again, like, just in my own time to, like, try and get a different ending. But I told myself I was going to do that, and then I didn't. I caved one night. And I watched all the endings, because somebody made, like, a little compilation video. Last night, my sister and my roommate, we all played Super Mario Party, because I got it for the Switch. And I never played it, I haven't seen any gameplay for the Super Mario, or, yeah, Super Mario Party game. And it's all motion control minigames for the most part. And it's generally so cute, I want to play it on stream at some point. Like, do another I speedrun Mario Party, but it's all the Super Mario Party minigames. A lot of the minigames are motion controls, and then there's this one mechanic, like if you're doing multiplayer, you have to high-five your... your competitors. So it was so funny, because like, my sister was like, zoning out in between matches, and both my sister and my roommate, they're a year and a half younger than me. They're both zoomers, okay? Like, in between games, they would, like, open their phones and watch TikToks. And I'm like, guys, it's like a 10 second in between between the games. Like, can you not, like, not put your phone down and enjoy the moment? But anyway. And it was so funny, because in between games, like, my sister was, like, zoning out. So she went, like, high five after every mini game. So we'd have to wait, like, 5-10 seconds for her to be like, oh, wait. And there was... <laughs> It was one time where she fell asleep, like, in between a game. <laughs> it was cute because, like, she almost fell off the couch. Guys, don't worry. When we hit a million subs, I will do a sister reveal. In serio? Okay, at least I use Iron Defense. I feel that so much, I need to stop using my phone as much. Me too. It's something that, like, I've noticed as well. I don't, like, go on- A huge thing that I do, as you guys know, I have two phones. This is my main phone that I use for, like, actual shit, and then this is my social media phone. Which I bought a year and a half ago, okay? I didn't, like, buy it recently. I bought it when I had money. Like, in my savings account. Manage grew to level 29. Let's freaking go. Manage grew to level 30. Let's go. So, like, I don't take my social media phone, like, out of the house. Like, that stays home. Like, if I was out doing errands, like, waiting in the grocery store line, I would be on TikTok. And I know that's what I would do. So that's why I purposely leave it at home. I'm not sure if, like, phones have this accessibility tool where you can, like... I, just, I think yeah, they would have it, where you can, like, stop yourself from using an app between certain times of the day. I think that's a function. And if that is, I would definitely use that if I had, like, social media on my main phone. I've also, like, stopped wearing headphones at home. 
Like, I will only wear headphones if I'm doing dishes, because, like, dishes are just loud. But I will only wear headphones when I'm out and about. Because those are more for, like, um, not getting overwhelmed in public. Or, like, just having, like, background music. Because, like, I hate the sound of cars. Like, genuinely, I hate it so much. There's an app that does that function for you? Oh, okay. Guys, download it right now. I do try to, like, avoid using social media throughout the day. The only reason why I'll log in throughout the day... Because I will log in right when I wake up to post. And then I will log in before I stream. So, like, bef between, like, 10 and 11. Oh my god, 11, 11. Make a wish, everybody. I'll log in to, like, make my posts. And then maybe I'll log in, like... Maybe once or twice in the afternoon to, like, see if I got any comments. Because, like, I like to reply to comments fairly quickly. But otherwise, like, I don't go on social media to consume, for the most part. Like, I don't doom scroll on TikTok anymore. When I first downloaded TikTok, like, two years ago, man, it was bad. And a lot of my feed was like, how to be a Twitch streamer. Do this to upgrade your stream. But now my TikTok page is... Because, like, I only go on the Discover tab if, like, the video is uploading. So, like, I got, like, two minutes for it to upload. Like, the only TikToks I get now are, like, Man, this horrible thing happened to my family. Or, oh my god, my boyfriend cheated on me and these are the red sign flags. Like, I get a lot of, like... I get a lot of tea videos. You know what else I get? An ad. Because, guys, we are an hourly stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5, skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. And if you subscribe right now or if you gift subs, you can kill a Pokemon. So don't subscribe. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. You're back in. I wish there was an item that would, like, give me, like, double XP for 30 minutes. That would be so cool. I'll be honest. The main reason why I'm, like, motivated to beat the Peace Law at this point is because, like, I genuinely want to play Poker World. I made my account and everything just to get my username. But we have to be peace locked. No, I'm gonna be confused. Uh. Fuck Chin Chow, I'll say it. Let's go heal. God damn it. I wanna play Poker Rogue so bad. Like, I've been watching so many other streamers and YouTubers play it. I really wanna play it. But I don't wanna, like start another Pokemon game until I beat this. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be a Pokemon champ. That's not the goal. Because with Pokemon content... Oh wait, it's a level 26. Oh my god. The only way to like make Pokemon content interesting is by adding some adding something like unique to it. Like nobody wants to watch raw Pokemon gameplay. Like you have to be like, I'm doing a Nuzlocke. Or every single Pokemon death, I eat a hot chip. 
Like, nobody wants, like, just normal-ass Pokemon. Like, I'll be honest, that's the only reason why I'm doing a Nuzlocke for my first time, like, ever playing a real Pokemon game. Because if I was playing this willy nilly like, oh, I'm gonna revive my Pikachu five times. Like, that's not like, it doesn't have a bite. Like, even if I'm suffering during every stressful moment of this goddamn game, it does make it more fun for me. What? Oh, I'm not in the water yet. <laughs> I was thinking about this yesterday on the bus. It's like standard for government workers to make decent money. Like if you are like custodial or if you do maintenance or if you're like a, a bus operator, like the public knows that those workers make good money and have good benefits. Because people just assume, oh, government job equals good, right? Why? Are we, like, as Americans, fine with making minimum wage for every other job that's not government or skilled labor? Like, how are we okay with making shit when we know that the big boys take so much of our potential wages or do actual wage theft? Maybe it's because government jobs are more competitive. Maybe because government jobs are typically given to, like, middle-aged or older people. But, like, why are we okay with getting shit? And getting shit on by our employers? I don't know. I, I don't... I'm still, like, trying to wrap my head around that. Because when I was working, I worked at a daycare. I worked at a pizza place and then a sandwich place. All in which my wages were shit. They would be either minimum or like a dollar above minimum. When I was at the daycare, I made 50 cents more than minimum. Which is shit. For all the work that I had to do. So like, why are we totally fine and complacent when working for entities that are for profit when we don't get the profit? You know what I mean? Because I was looking at the wages for, like, like city or county positions, like, just for fun. And the bus drivers in my area... Honestly, okay, I love all the drivers. A lot of the drivers in my county, they're so nice. There's only, like, one dickhead, but, you know, it's fun. You know, one out of a hundred, that's a pretty good rate. They make almost double minimum wage. I think minimum wage in Washington State is, like, 16... 50 or some shit now? But they make almost double. Which is crazy. Like, huge dubs to them. But shit. God damn. If I knew how to drive, I would have been a fucking bus driver. Oh, come on. Just fucking die. We hate bus drivers? No, we love bus drivers. We just don't like the dickheads. Like, okay, it's so annoying. Okay, <laughs> one annoying thing that some of the drivers, like, kind of have to do is a few years ago, I think it was two years ago, for my county, they made any riders who were 18 or younger get to ride free. So you either have to have, like, a youth pass or you have to, like, show your school ID. So, like, there's some drivers... And it's, like, on the routes where, like, all the little Zoomer teens, like, take to go to school in the morning. So there's, like, fucking 20 little Zoomer kids wanting to get on the bus. Like, there's a few drivers who will make every one of the 20 kids take out their school ID. So instead of taking the two minutes, maybe, for all the kids to file on the bus, it takes, like, five. 
It's like, bro, you can tell that it's a child. They have their backpack. Like, do you, do you really need to see their ID? And like, there was this one jackass driver. It was a mom. She had three kids. She had like, she had a 12 year old. Okay, this is my guess. She had like a 12, a five and a four year old. He made the 12 year old show their school ID. It's like, jackass. The mom has like two little kids. You're gonna make the like the one tween looking kid like show their ID? Like, come on. It's obvious that it's like a family. Like, what, what are you doing, man? And of course the kid didn't have their ID, so like the mom had to go back and forth with the driver. But it's like, dude. And Serio? Oh wait, I'm drowsy. He's gonna die. That, okay, that's like the only thing that annoys me. Like most drivers are chill. They're like, oh, just like walk on the bus. But some are like really aggro, like having the kids show their IDs. And it's like, dude, it doesn't fucking matter. I think it's because even if like the kid rides free, the driver has to like tick off like how many people get on the bus. So I just assume it's like a different button he has to press if it's a kid or an adult. I don't know. I don't know any bus drivers. I knew it was gonna live. Oh no. I lived. And you know... Okay, I'm 25. <laughs> like, if I really tried, I think I could pass for like a little zoomer. And like, there's days where I'm like, can I pass? I'm like, maybe I can try to like... Maybe not pay the two bucks. But I'm too scared. I just have to, like, figure out who the chill bus drivers are. Man, it's legit gonna take forever to level up. I like to think that I'm young, but there are some times where I like, I feel like I'm old. Like I'm starting to want to do old people hobbies. Like I want to set up a little bird feeder and bird watch. I want to like sit in the backyard and read a book. That's like shit like middle aged people do. No, but legit. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my friend hooked me up with their Audible account. Because something I want to start doing is, like, to end my day is just, like, sit in the backyard and listen to a book. 
Heaven forbid I actually read the book. The words are too small. Because one of the ways to prevent dementia as a young person is to consistent be, consistently be learning and like working your brain. So doing like little brain puzzles like Sudoku every day or playing like puzzle video games can help with early onset dementia. So obviously I hate puzzles. <laughs> so I ain't doing that shit. So I told myself, I was like, maybe like read a little educational book every once in a while. Or like listen to an audiobook. Like I have a few saved. I have one about like American architecture. Architecture. I have one about like how to formulate your ideals. And then oh wait. Magnus go to level 30, let's freaking go. What I was gonna say, Magnus is evolving. Age? No way. I wonder what it's gonna become. Wait, is there Magneton in this game? I don't think so. Okay, I know it's not Magneton. Magneton is the third evolution. I'm not stupid. Magnus might? No. Wait, it is a Magneton. Wait, what? There's a. There, the evolution is like too big. We saw it in Poke Park. I forgot what he's called. Whoa, we got a Magneton! Ain't no way! Wait, really? No new moves? That's stupid. Let's check them out. Ooh, Magnet Pull. Trap Steel type Pokemon. Ooh, okay. Yeah, no new moves, unfortunately. His HP is up to 72. Love that. Man, that's so cool. Anyway, as I was exploring books to read on Audible, I was looking through all like the suggested categories, and one of the categories was SEX and like education. And I was like, oh my god, I need to see what's in here. You know, I was just curious. I was like, what books are gonna be in here? Cause I, you know, I'm just thinking it's like gonna be like Wattpad fan fiction type books, you know what I mean? Oh, he's so cool. And the first recommended book was How to Do Cunnilingus. Cunnilingus. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. It's a book that's an hour long. And the. I was gonna say the dub. The person they have voice acting that specific book literally sounded like Siri. It was like I listened to the sample and I was like, I cannot even listen to this like as a joke. Like I can't. And it was so funny because I was on I was on my call with a friend and I was like telling them all the books like I wanted to read. <laughs> okay, this friend is a guy. <laughs> And I, I told him the title of the book, right? And he was like, I've never heard of that. I was like, oh no, honey. <laughs> no way. Tunneling this is... <laughs> I was like, no wonder you don't have a girlfriend. Anyway, we're swapping in for Ralph. Man, it was the funniest shit. Yeah, what is that? Um, look it up on your own time, and don't talk about it in my chat. FUCK, I'M CONFUSED! I don't know what the C word is. Who <laughs> haven't says the C word, for real? I- I for one would never say the C word. Even, wait, how many C-words are there? I know Twitch, like, considers, like, Ritz Crackers a, a C-word that I cannot say. Manny grew to level 31. 
Oh wait, Roar is kind of bad. Let's see what Manny's got. We haven't battled Manny at all. Yeah, Manny doesn't have thunder. So Manny has Spark, Quick Attack, Howl, Odor Sleuth. <laughs> the one in the book name. <laughs> Thank you, Exorcist. Hi, Kobobo. Can we get some yos? You know what's funny? Kobobo, like, never understands any time I make, like, an innuendous joke. It's the funniest shit. Okay, I gotta go heal. Like, a clip I had posted on TikTok the other day, it was me talking about how the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe logo looks like. Um, it looks like the shape you would see doodled on, like, a middle schooler's desk. If you know, you know. And it's so funny, because, like, I remember that stream, like, Kobobo had, like, literally no clue what the logo looks like. It was the funniest shit. I still don't see it. Dude, it's been a year. It's been literally a year. <laughs> And, like, I was editing in that clip. And for, like, 20-30 minutes, like, Kobobo was like, I don't know, I don't see it. <laughs> it's so funny. And, like, I think about the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe logo, and I'm still, like, shocked they decided to make the logo look like that. Because as a graphic designer, or any type of artist, you're, like, trained to, like, not have hidden pictures in your work. Like, that's why there was... Remember how- oh, fuck, it was like a year or two ago where there was like a swastika like hidden inside the- one of the major newspapers like Daily Crossword? Like that was actually insane because if you're an artist and you have like a team of people who vet your art before stuff gets published typically. Like everybody's trained to like look for like hidden pictures so like genitalia or like hate symbols or hate colors like we're trained to not have our art look like that. So, that's why it's hilarious to me that the Margaret 8 Deluxe logo looks the way it does. Um, we'll try to merc this clam pearl because Magnus is so strong. At least Magnus is strong. Ah! Sorry. Magnus is stronger now. Oh my god. That did a good chunk of damage. So, like, guys, if there's any time that you see, like, a symbol or, like, a PP in media, it was on purpose, okay? It was either on purpose or, like, their whole marketing team is genuinely fucking stupid. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, my audible book recommendations. <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, I got some smart libtard books on my list to, you know, educate me. I got a few Stephen King books, because those were the books my friend had already bought. Didn't your sister see the imagery first? Yeah, she did. And it's hilarious. I, I talk about it in the clip. Um, guys, check out my most... Or check out my TikTok, you'll find what we're talking about there. Click the link and go follow. If we get 10k followers, then I can make ad revenue. Guys, can we do it? Okay, I think the the trend that I'm seeing on TikTok, and I fucking hate it. Or in general, any type of trend where it's like, Oh my god, if we can get my account to this many followers, then I can get monetized. Or... Where people are like, oh my god, we should like follow and check out each other's accounts and, you know, support each other. It makes me want to throw up. And I can't do that on a stream because that's TOS. But it makes me want to yank. It's like, it's so fake. It's so disingenuous. Like, do you really want your followers to be a number? Like, you should want your audience to be people who genuinely, who genuinely enjoy what you do. Not people who want follow for follow. In general, like, follow for follow is like... 
Like, TOS, you can't do that on most social media. Wait, what the fuck? Oh wait, I thought that was a psychic move. I'm confused. Oh. Cause like, on TikTok, in order to get- Because there's different tiers of monetization, but to get like the- the entry level tier... You need to have like, a thousand followers to go live, and then you can get like, live gifts, so you can get like, pennies. And then the next tier is you have to have 10,000 followers to either get the creator fund, and I think you need 100k followers for ad revenue. I think that's how it is. I don't know. I don't look at it. Because, like, I'm far from 10k. But a trend that I've seen in the past week is people being like, oh, when there's new openings for the creator fund, but you're this far away from 10k, and it's like showing a screenshot of their profile at like 800, 5,000, or whatever, however many followers they have, but they're always below 10k. And then their next TikTok, they're like, Oh my god, I got so many followers from yesterday's TikTok, that's crazy! And it's like, yeah, it's because people feel bad for you. They don't fucking genuinely enjoy your videos. They feel bad for you. It's, it, I think the reason why I hate it so much is because it's against, like, so much of my approach to, like, streaming or social media. Because for me, I didn't grow up using social media. I didn't make my accounts until I was legit 18. Mainly because I was so scared of like what would happen to me as like a minor, you know? Because there's obviously like freaks online. And I say that to be mean, like there are freaks online. So like I didn't grow up wanting validation from strangers. Which is like totally fine to want, you know? Like, feeling admired or desired is a totally normal thing to want. But, like, I didn't grow up with that. So, like, to me, getting one like on a post is crazy. I'm like, oh my god, there's one person. But to everybody else, it seems, it to them, it's minuscule. Like, even if I got one viewer or ten or twenty-five, which is the most I've ever had at one point. I'm still, like, that's still X amount of people. One person is still one person. I don't know what type Relicanth is. It's also level 35, so I'm gonna swap. But anyway, like, I just hate any type of, like, false engagement. Or any type of thing that is maliciously in, like, making people want to engage. I think it's so counterintuitive. Yeah, like, sometimes I'll post, like, a video or a clip that I know will get, like, comments. But it's not like I'm doing it to intentionally, like, rage or farm. You know what I mean? I don't know. Because I think farming for, like, reaction is different than farming for... growth. I don't- wait, how do I explain this? Like, when I say farming for reaction, I mean, like, maybe somebody commenting, like, LaMau, or maybe adding their own opinion to what I said in a clip or a video. Like, that's farming a reaction. Because that can be built upon. Versus farming for growth, where, like, it's a specific CTA call to action for somebody to follow or to comment or engage. Like, I know when I was watching YouTube, because I watch YouTube content, from maybe I was like 11 till present day. I freaking love YouTube content. It's so funny because I think if you go to my YouTube channel, it says like channel published or account made in, fuck, I think it said 2014 or 2013. Like I legit didn't make a YouTube account until like the turn 13. Like that's how like goody good I was. So like that means for like the two years that I used YouTube, before I was 13, I didn't watch on an account. <laughs> like, I would just go on YouTube in a new browser tab with no account. It's so funny. But anyway, so like, even now, like, I hate saying, Oh my god, guys, subscribe and enjoy and like the video. 
like, me saying that is still, like, super cringe to me. Like, I know those CTAs are very effective, but I hate doing them. You know, you gotta sometimes, but I hate doing it. Okay, I need to focus. My Pokemon are only at level 30. We got 16 levels to go. No, I'm confused! You know who else is confused? The people who aren't following the channel. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you never click that follow button, you get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? Right now, I'm telling you with a specific CDA to click the button. Even though I hate doing it, I have to do it. Because if I want my channel to grow, I need to tell you guys to follow right now. See, like, I hate doing it. That's why, like, any time... <laughs> That's why, like, any time I do a CTA, it's usually more exaggerated. Because, in my head, I know that's not me. I know that's not what I want to do, so, like, if I make it a bit, or if I make it fake, then it's separate from me. Die. <laughs> Guys, if we hit a million followers today... I have a surprise. Who wants to help me hit a Millie? <laughs> Is it a Discord? Wait, isn't that one of my sub goals? Wait, Mac, did you join Rainy's Discord? <laughs> I feel like my viewers will either make their own little splint discords. No! <laughs> or join my streamer friends' discords. Die. Fucking die! Sorry, I think something came over me there. That was to the relicant, not the chat, just to be clear. I did join her Discord. You guys are so funny. One day it'll happen. One day. But if I ever make a Discord, I'm not gonna chat in it. You guys realize that, right? Or if I had a Discord, I would only chat in it like once in a week. That way it's like special. Then you guys will be like, oh, I got the pizza tier. Oh my god. Because, like, if I'm there all the time, then it's not special. It's like, you have your next door neighbor, and they're not your best friend because they're right there. They're super accessible. Rainy was in VC last night. Were you in there too? You're such a simp. You know, I was gonna say this in Rainy's chat yesterday, Mac. Um, guys, Rainy D Games is a friend of the show. I was gonna say, it seems like Mac watches more Rainy Day streams than Peace and streams. What the frick? <laughs> nah, but I know you got a job. Yeah, I know, I'm messing with you. I know the time that I stream is like the literally the worst time of the day to stream. You know, it's a I usually stream at eleven AM PST. So it's the time where like people are on their lunch breaks or at work. Or, like, maybe just getting home from school or work if they're East Coast. But, you know what? It's the perfect time for the European viewers, because, you know, they're getting ready for bed, they're cozy, so they can put the stream on their TV and fall asleep, and I can farm so many ads with them. But, the bad thing is, the ad rates are different by region. <laughs> so, <laughs> and also the sub splits are different for region now, too. So, it's kind of bad that I'm catering to an EU audience. <laughs> but it's fine, I don't care. The main reason why I stream at this time of the day is because it's when I have the most energy. Like, if I genuinely wanted to grow, or whatever, I would stream at like... <clears throat> what was that? I would stream starting at 2 or 3 PST, 
Because that's when everybody's getting over work, they're having dinner, you know, they're getting drunk, so they're inebriated, so maybe they're like, decision-making skills aren't as good, so maybe you'll get more donos or subs. Because, you know, everybody's lit. But, I'll be honest, when it gets to like 3 to 4 p.m. my time, I'm like dead. I'm like, I want to be in bed, I don't want to do shit. Because you, you guys will notice, it, whenever I do a longer stream, I usually will peak at the start for like first two or three hours are usually my ha more high energy, which is kind of like how today is going. I don't know why I'm yapping so much. Um, And then usually like the three, four hour mark is where I'm, I'm like, my energy is like slowly going down. But the only time I typically will do a longer stream, to me a longer stream is more than six hours like a five hour stream ain't too bad that's why for peace luck when we first did peace luck i did fucking like seven eight hours sittings that was too much too much i think doing like five to four or four to six hours sittings for a peace and stream or sorry peace lock is perfect because it's usually enough time to level up and then maybe we get a gym I'm saying that knowing it's 18 days in and I'm on the 8th gym. The math ain't math, but it's because I've had to reset a few times. I'll take the up. But anytime I do do the longer streams, like if it's more than the 6 hours, I usually will take a lunch break. And I think doing that format is good. Because in general, I don't think it's good... If you are doing longer stream content and you're not, like, taking care of yourself on stream. Like, whether that be eating, using the restroom. Like, you should not be holding your piss in for eight hours. Like, honey, if you lose five viewers because you go to the bathroom, that's fine. Go to the bathroom. Or just do shorter streams. Like, you should not be, like, punishing your body indirectly just because you're scared about losing a few viewers. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Okay, I will say, <laughs> if I click on a stream and there's an empty chair, I click off. <laughs> I'll be honest. You know, I'm the shitty viewer that leaves. Yeah, I do. I'm so bad about that. But I only will, like, click off of a stream if I'm actively chatting. Like, if I'm in a- Because I'm the type of viewer where if I'm sitting down at my computer, I'm chatting. You know, I'm a really engaging viewer for the most part. Oh my god, Max, go to level 31. Holy shit. Or I'm a lurker. Like, if I'm- If I just want to chill, I'll put something on the TV and I don't chat at all. So, like, if it's a stream where I'm sitting down and the person isn't on screen, then I usually will go to a different stream or watch a different video. But, like, if it's on the TV, like, I'm not gonna click the three buttons and type with my TV remote a different channel name. So, like, it, it just depends on, like, how you enjoy the content, I guess. Guys, I want you to be honest when I ask you this question. So this past year, Cutie Cinderella did her third annual streamer award stream. And how it works is there's like a Google Doc that viewers fill out. And they like type in their favorite streamer for whatever category. And there's usually a category for like smaller streamer it's not called small streamer but there's a category for like somebody who averages less than partner so 75 i think it's 100 or fewer which obviously we're in that range obviously <laughs> oh my god manny girl to level 32 oh my god but the past three years i did not tell my chat to vote 
Because, you know, I don't have clout. Like, it would be very difficult for somebody who has a small viewership and not a huge social following to win. But, if I told my chat, and my Twitter followers, and my TikTok, and my YouTube this upcoming year, so early 25, or is it end of the year? I think they host it in February? No. Whenever she hosts it. But if I told you guys to vote, would you guys vote? Because, you know, maybe we'll try this year. Maybe we'll try. Because, you know, I think I'm a little hidden gem. Yeah. Wait, plus two, guys. Nah, but that's cute. I don't know, I was thinking about it. Because, like, imagine... Imagine, like, peacing on the stage. That would be crazy. Possibly. Maybe, perhaps. Okay, plus three. Or we'll say plus 2.5. Because... The main reason why I didn't, like, tell my following to vote in previous years is because it's embarrassing, you know? For me, like, obviously, I know I'm not fantastic. Like, as a person or a creator, I know I'm not fantastic. You know, I'm not fucking German. But, I, dude, I want to do, like, German-type bits in the future. Like, if I have money, it's happening, guys. Because I know that... I have faith, trust, and pixie dust that what I'm doing with stream is ultimately a good thing. But having to vocalize and say, hey, you, at home, to vote for me over everybody else that you watch. It's like a very embarrassing thing to do in my opinion. That's why like I've never told people to vote for me. But you know, I think 2024, I think, has been a great year for peace and streams. Let's be honest. Doesn't Frogan win the same award every year? Did she win this up past year? I know she got she got Hidden Gem. Or Rising Star. I think she got those two for the two years that she was in the voting pools. But, like, imagine... Guys, imagine, like, a three-viewer streamer, Peason. Like, usually my average stream has three viewers, which, huge W. Huge W. <laughs> um. Like, imagine, like, a three-viewer Andy getting nominated for Hidden Gem. That would be crazy. Because usually the Hidden Gem people are people who are right below partner. How can you win Risen Rising Star more than once? Oh, Rising Star, I think, is different than Hidden Gem. Rising Star is somebody who has affiliate or partner viewership levels, but they've seen significant growth for that calendar year. And then Hidden Gem is specifically people who average less than 75 or 100 viewers. So they're different subcategories. Because Frogan has grown a lot this past year. Like, I think Squeaks was nominated for Rising Star this past year, which I did vote for Squeaks. <laughs> Mainly because I love his streams a lot. And guys, I'm usually in Squeaks' chat, like just typing in Glorp or Jackass all day, so you'll see me in his chat a lot. Yeah, I did enable Glorp in my chat room. <laughs> No, because, like, you know, I like to dream sometimes. What if I wore a suit? That would go crazy. I don't think, I, I don't think I'd want to wear a dress. You know, I have to look fucking gay. We need more representation. Dude, Im okay, imagine. Imagine. Suit, turtleneck. Or sheer, partially sheer suit. I was also thinking a, a 
funny bit. No! I bring somebody as like my fake bodyguard. I don't know how that would work though. Uh, we're dreaming right now. We're dreaming. I hate this game. How many hours? 108. Um, my final thoughts, guys, vote Peason underscore 17 for the 2024 stream awards, please. Guys, I have a question for you. You guys have been asking me questions, and you guys have to answer honestly, okay? That's the rule. Are you scared of going on airplanes? Type 1 if you're scared, type 2 if you're not. Yeah, I know, Mac, you said you're gonna see Kim next month, which is gonna be really cute. I cannot wait for Kim to send me pictures of you guys together. To answer the question, I'm personally not scared of planes at all. And I've watched so many documentaries, YouTube videos, anecdotal stories of, like, scary plane happenings. Don't you dare. <laughs> we just went to the Pokemon Center. We, we literally walked in the doors, walked out, and now we're gonna have to go back in. Anyway, I'm not scared of planes at all, because in my head, you know, it takes a lot of training to be a pilot. And since I feel like the field is competitive in the sense of not many people can be a pilot, okay? <laughs> like, it takes a special type of person to take it that far. So, you know, I have full faith and pi- I have full faith, trust, and pixie dust in any pilot. Yes, I know there is a shortage now, but that's due to a multiple- a, a multitude of regions, reasons. Um, um... Mainly because the failing of... Unions. Not because unions are bad, it's just like so many companies are anti-union. TSA stresses me out so bad, like the way- <laughs> Way more than the actual flight- no, seriously. Seriously. Um, no narcs, but I know somebody who works for TSA, and they said it's pretty chill for the most part. But, what's cool is that now they work for the TSA, they basically, if they ever want to travel, they can, like, skip the line. It's pretty cool. So, if I travel with said person, I get to skip TSA. Let's go! So, th that means I can't be acting up and saying crazy shit, okay? Also, hi, Crystal. Can we get some yos? It's been so long since we've seen you, man. But we're doing well. Wait, Crystal, I saw you? <laughs> okay. I don't know if you knew, Crystal, but, like, I was streaming on my test account. Because I was doing a collab with Rainy, but I didn't want to stream on my main account. So, I was just streaming to get footage. That's why, like, I didn't have chat enabled. So, yeah. Sorry. 
Anyway, so like I'm not I'm not scared of like planes at all. The only time I got like a little bit scared was this was during my Japan trip a few years ago, which was the last time I went on a plane. Like I haven't gone on on a plane post COVID. Or post the breakout of COVID-19. The only thing that I'm like kind of scared of traveling now is just like crazy passengers. Like genuinely, like seeing so many like anecdotal stories or videos online of just like people freaking out on the plane. Okay, I should not say that. People having like meltdowns over like little things on the plane or them just being like stupid. That does scare me a little bit. But like being on the plane, I don't mind. Because I have faith in the staff, I have faith in the pilot. Usually the anybody who's on the plane staff wise, they have to prioritize the the I almost said patients. They have to prioritize the passengers first. So like I, I have full faith and trust in them. The only time that I got scared was we were flying back from Hawaii to Washington State. It was fall, so and I'm paralyzed from fear. At least I'm not confused. Thank you. So we were flying back into Washington, and it was like a little bit stormy, so like the turbulence was like kind of popping off like more than it should. And the one thing that I took away from like how to escape a crashing airplane YouTube video was obviously you're, if you don't sit by the door you're you're like definitely fucked but is to not wear headphones to not watch a movie when you are descending or ascending because usually most crashes or accidents happen during that period because that's when they're like they're like going between atmosphere levels that's where like they're going through clouds and shit so the likelihood of error is during the starting and ending of a flight. So it's said in the video to not have headphones on, don't be watching a video, be fully alert when you're going through turbulence. Cause like, let's say there is an emergency or like, let's say if something falls, you need to be like ready to protect yourself or get out. So like the plane was shaking, like it was really shaking. So I took my headphones off, I was looking around. Thankfully it was fine. That was the only time that I did get a little scared. For me, it's the height. I freak out looking outside the window. Oh, just don't get the window seat, honey. Or be a jackass and don't open the window. Like, if there's a child to your right and you have the window on your left, do not open the window for the child to look out, you know? They don't need to experience that. Your safety is over everything, okay? We don't need you freaking out on the flight. Like, I, I understand why people do get scared, like, at the thought or being on a plane, but for me, I don't mind. I think it's because our parents traveled a lot when my sister and I were, like, little babies. Because my mom, she worked for an airline up until, wait, literally 9-11. Um, don't worry, she was working in Washington State, don't worry. Um, because after 9-11, like, obviously less people traveled. Um, so just in general, like, mo oh, I'm paralyzed. Um, let's do Magikarp. So, like, most every airline saw, like, a decline in people, like, voluntarily going, like, vacations and shit. Because obviously everybody was scared. So because of that, my mom was laid off in, like, like, a year after 9-11. So my sister and I would have been, like, like, little babies. So, like, three or two or one. So, like, they used to travel all the time with us on the plane, and they said literally during every single flight, my sister and I never cried. Like, we were- we were such good little kids. So, I think because my sister and I went on a lot of flights when we were young, we just were never scared of it. I think it's because it was just like kind of normal and when I see a lot of flights the only time we had to travel was for like a funeral which <laughs> wait Maggie Harp's gonna fall asleep no man uh, 
this is not good. <laughs> so like, we'd only fly to go to a funeral, and my mom, she's like 10 years younger than her other siblings, so because of that, a lot of her relatives, like her aunties and uncles, are very old. So, for like the first 10 years of my life, we'd go to Hawaii all the time because somebody in the family always died. Granted, I never knew these family members, but we would still go and like hang out and shit. Oh wait, I gotta go heal. Like, we kind of stopped traveling for fun when my mom got laid off, so like, we never- we never went on no vacation. Like, legit, the only vacation, like, for fun we went on that wasn't, like, for family, or like a death in the family, was when I was- I think it was like a summer road trip when I was like 14 or 15. And it was shit, because it was my mom, my dad, my grandma, my sister, and I, in the SUV. We were going from Washington to, um, what's it called? I almost said Mount Rushmore, but that's not. Yellowstone Park. <laughs> so like between Idaho and Montana. And it was shit. It was horrible. Like being in the car for hours and hours during summer. And we also like had the shittiest tent. So when we were camping, it was not fun. But that was like the only fun vacation we ever went on as a family. Oh, and then the Japan trip, but that like was when I was an adult, so like that doesn't count as like a kid family vacation in my opinion. But my grandma paid for all of the trips. I hate crowded cars, especially for a long period of time. Oh, definitely. It's for sure the worst. And like my dad, he's like, he's a good driver, but he's a scary driver. Like if he sees like an accident incoming, like he will swerve out of the way cleanly. But he's also the type of guy who will make a U-turn in a busy six-lane road. Like, no hesitation. My dad would do it. No, my dad is crazy. <laughs> also, I learned, if you're in the car, like, don't sit funny kind. Like, don't be laying down, don't put your feet on the dashboard, sit proper, feet on the ground, hands in lap. Because if you get into an accident and your feet are on the dashboard, your body literally goes like this. Like, you're gonna break your ass and your back. I love Relicanth. What's so good about Relicanth? I caught one, but I'm not gonna evolve it yet, should I? Wait! Uh-oh. I know the Relicants that we've been encountering have had Yawn, which could be really good for an Elite Four. I don't think I have any Pokemon that, I'm, that I've been leveling that have a Sleep move. I thought everyone knew that. I don't know. Like, I told my mom that shit, and she still puts her feet on the dashboard. And she's been in so many car accidents, some of which are her fault and some are not. But it's like, ma, like, please listen to me when I tell you this. Okay, for any parasocial viewers, I told my mom this before I moved out. This is not new lore, okay? I still haven't talked to her for a year and a half now. It was the first shiny I ever encountered. Aww. That's so cute. Man, what was my first shiny? Because the first, like, ever Pokemon game that I played was Let's Go Eevee. And I can't remember if I got a shiny in that game. Wait, I think I showed chat. I showed, I literally showed chat the shinies I got from Pokemon Violet. I showed it on stream. Okay, I don't know what stream it's from. I think it was a shiny of the Diglett, but the Beach Diglett that looked like little 
toys. Magnus go to level 32. Oh my god! Guys, it's been two fucking hours and we're only up five levels. Oh my god. We're gonna be here all day. You know who else is going to be here all day? Obviously, everybody watching right now, but the non-subs, because guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing on the phone, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available, or if you are very kind and generous, you can get the sub and maybe kill my Pokemon. So guys, subscribe, but also do not subscribe. Unless you want to see me cry again. I like being a sub. Wait, Mac, isn't your girlfriend in chat? I don't think you should be sharing deets in chat. Man, we're two hours in. Bruh. Can somebody look up what the odds of me getting shiny in this game are? Whoever looks it up for me, I will give you personally a high five in chat. I'm not even kidding. Because I've, I've had to have taken like millions of steps at this point. We're like a... We're 108 hours, 42 minutes, 39 seconds in. Like how have I not found a shiny in? Because I think in this game, like, an animation shows or there's a sound. And I I don't think I've missed it. Oh, wait, I need to go heal. I think. heal? Yeah, I need to go heal. One out of 8,192. Thank you, Mac. And that's steps, right? Oh, wait, no, encounters? Ain't no way. I. <laughs> Ain't no way. Okay, who wants to go back and watch every single VOD to count how many encounters I've had? Who wants to take the L? Or editor? Wait, the editor's gonna be me. Editor, keep count, please. No, that would be horrendous. Talking about editors... Is there any viewer who is considering doing fan edits? There we go. If you want more info. I'm only asking because I'm curious. Oh, como se dice say curious? Did you guys see? I saw, I didn't see the full trailer, but I saw an ad that they're making a sequel to Moana. I didn't watch the trailer yet. I'm gonna watch it later. Because it came up on my TikTok and I was like, I'm not watching the vertical cut of this trailer. No! The paralysis is such bullshit. Good job, Ralph. I don't want to go back and heal. I don't want to. Now, Moana isn't one of my favorite Disney movies, but it's visually, I think, one of the best executed. 
it's so good visually. Like, the story was alright. Oh, I have 14 Paralyte. I'll just use it. We're in any game. I don't care. I'll just use it. I'm rich. Yeah, the soundtrack was also really good. I don't know what, like, lore they could add to a sequel, though. That's what I'm kind of scared about. Because, like, the whole point of Moana, it's a coming-of-age story. That's what it's supposed to be. Like, if legit- if they make it Moana having kids, I'm going to... Still watch and enjoy it. Not anything else. No, but like, imagine that's what the plot is. That would be insane. No, they wouldn't do that. They would not. I hope it's them finding another island. Or maybe it's like... Underwater. Because, like, the thing that pissed me off about The Little Mermaid 2... Because, like, I understand that the first movie, it's literally Ariel getting married and that's the end. But, like, why did she have to have kids? Because Ariel... I think is implied that she's younger, right? And then also... Like, why'd she have to have kids? Like, come on. That's not what a woman, like, has to do. Because Ariel is, like, this, like, super independent person. And in the sequel, they just made her, like, too chill. She became a mom and she became boring. I'll say it. I bet you the opening sequence for Moana is going to be her going into the ocean and her swimming through like a coral reef. That's going to be the opening sequence. That's my bet. My favorite Disney princess? Hmm. I like Mulan. Even though she's not technically a princess. I would watch the VHS over and over and over. Oh, Tiana's pretty good, too. I loved Princess and the Frog. I liked that movie a lot because, like, it wasn't about, like, her becoming a princess. Like, because that movie is about, like, self-identity and, like, learning about yourself and your passion. Like, it's, it's genuinely, like, really good themes for Princess and the Frog. But I loved Mulan a lot. I think it's because... Obviously, Mulan went against societal in, like, the societal norms. There's also, like, the, the pride to honor and protect your loved ones. And then also, like, self-sacrifice. And it was really cool how she cut her hair, you know? Oh, yeah, Tangled is also really good. No, let's be honest. Every single Disney movie that's woke is, like, kind of good. Because, like, it's teaching you shit. Like, they're teaching kids subtly about, like, more adult lessons that they'll learn in their teens or their young adult years. Like, Tangled is literally about, like, an abusive relationship. Okay, I didn't like Brave because, like, Brave was too real for me. <laughs> like... Because, like, Brave, it's the teenager being angsty and shit. And her hating her mom. And then the mom kind of, like, also hates Merida. But then they, like, love each other at the end. Like, that's not- that's not real. That doesn't happen. <laughs> or rather, I didn't experience that. Guys, my mom said I was unlovable when I was, like, 20. And it sticks with me every day. Anyway... Yeah, the- the- I don't get why an my Disney has to make everybody a furry. I'm still- I believe that conspiracy with all my heart. <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> nah, I'm over it for the most part. Guys, that's why I'm single. Nah. I'm gonna tell my therapist tomorrow. No, uh, uh, okay. Just to clarify, for any of the peace and parasocial war people, 
anything that I see on stream, I'm, like, fine with sharing. Like, obviously, there are times where, like, I talk about more serious shit. But if I don't want to share, I will not talk about it. And if I do talk about something, it's either something that I've accepted and overcome. Or that, like, I'm okay to joke about at this point in my life. Like, I do share a lot about myself, but also very little. Somebody's making ramen downstairs and it smells good. At least you're good now, exactly. The, the big thing that I learned from that trauma is to understand the weight of what you say. And that can mean, even if you think something means nothing, that nothing can mean everything to the other person. I do, I do try my best to conduct myself in a way both online and in person. To try and be kind, yes I do goof and gaff, but I don't typically take things too far. Because I understand the weight in which my influence, both online and in personal relationships, can have on somebody. Okay, let's go heal. The relicanth always kind of cooks me a bit. I haven't had Robin in a bit. Because there's this one place in town that is like a Japanese ramen chain. So you know it's busting. It's really good. But I haven't gone for a few weeks. Because my sister, <laughs> she loves ramen. And when she went to Japan, she only had like... The little rinky-dink corner store ramen. You know, it's like the old man on the corner with a little cart. She had that most every day when she was in Japan. So now, that was like a year ago. So she always wants to get ramen. Like, either like American-ass top ramen. Or like from the nice Japanese chain in town. And so we would go every week. To the point where like the, the servers know what she's gonna order. And I was telling my sister, I was like, we cannot be having this every week. Even if we get the low sodium option, we cannot be getting this every week. And you know what this little twerp does? She won't take me, but she'll get delivery and try to hide the packaging in the trash can. Like, she knows that I'm nosy. She knows that if I see something, I would dig through the trash. She knows that I'm home all the time. How does she think that I won't find out? Like, she's stupid. Is <laughs> that about to be me in the future? <laughs> so, I haven't gone to get ramen with her in like two weeks, but she's still gotten it delivered on the normal day that we go. <laughs> Which is fine. But I tell her, if you're, like, gonna get delivery, like, get some, like, good food. Because ramen ain't gonna hit when it's been sitting in some dude's car for 20 minutes. Like, get pizza or something. I haven't had real pizza in so long. Because you usually just get frozen pizza, because frozen pizza slaps. It's usually always going to be good. But I haven't gotten, like, a traditional delivered pizza from, like, Pizza Hut or whatever for forever. It's mainly because, like, every single chain pizza place is fucking expensive. They'll charge, like, 20 bucks for a plain pepperoni. It's like, I might as well just go to fucking Little Caesars and get the same shit. Easy. What's the lurk command? Honey. <laughs> I think it's pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> but thank you for the lurk crystal. I'm glad I got the chat for a little bit.
I accidentally used the forward slash command. That's so funny. Because for like regular Twitch commands, like if you're a mod or like a Twitch streamer, it's like forward slash and then a phrase. So like the only commands that I use is forward slash commercial to like make you guys see ads so I can get pennies. Sometimes I do slash ban, but that's very rare. But anytime you try to send a message that starts with a forward slash, it auto-deletes it typically. Or it'll say message not recognized or something. I think if you do it too many times by accident, Twitch thinks you're hacking. That's my conspiracy. Type 1 if you're a fed. Just a reminder guys, we only have two days left of May. So if you want a chance to get VIP in my chat room and a Twitch gift card, clip the stream. Magnus go to level 33, let's freaking go. Now I'm not gonna narc, but the top competitors for May are neck and neck. Ain't no way. At least I broke through right away. I think it's been like four or five days since the new 21 Pilots album came out. And it's legitimately been the only music I've been listening to the past few days. And I still haven't gotten tired of it yet. I don't know, it could be nostalgia, or maybe they're just like that good. But all their songs are so different. Like every single song has a different ear feel, you could say. And I enjoy it so much. I, don't, I still don't know which is my favorite single, though. I know for sure the ones that like I instantly loved sound-wise were Routines of the Night, and then... At the risk of looking dumb or at the fear of looking dumb? Like, the music production and the lyrics are pretty catchy. I don't know them by heart yet, but I want to learn them. I'm learning the final bridge and chorus to... What's it called? It's the one that he has the... The Jenna's version. I forgot what it's called. It's not Clarity. Is it Clarity? No me recuerdo, pero voy a recordarlo luego. I don't remember it, but I'm gonna remember it later. It can't be clarity. That's like a pop song. That's not a top song. Ralph grew to level 47. Let's freaking get.
It's so funny. One of my initial I dream I dreams. One of my initial ideas for stream content, like before I started streaming, like summer 21. The main thing that I wanted to do was play video games and sing. Like instead of doing commentary or jokes, just sing. Like that objectively sounds like a decent idea. But then also, I failed to realize you cannot sing for five hours. You know, experienced performers struggle to sing for extended periods of time, so doing like an hour show. Like, no way you can do like a four hour Animal Crossing stream and sing the whole time. I don't know what I was thinking. Good thing I didn't fucking try it. And the main reason why I didn't try it is because. Obviously, if you sing a song, you don't have the copyright to sing the song. So, like, if you do it, like, every once in a while, it's fine. Like, maybe once a stream, it's whatever. Wait, maybe you're to level 34, let's go! But if you made that ho your whole stream, you're cooked. And then you're also, like, not making your own content, if that makes sense. Like, you're just singing other people's songs. But if you're singing your own songs, that's pretty chill. I'm still not sure, like, what the copyright is concerning, like, performing live covers for streams. Like, I genuinely don't know. Because it's a licensing issue. Like, if you are, like, a traveling band, you have to typically have, like, a license to perform a cover of a song. Like, if you were to make the song, like, a like one of your headliners or something. But for a lot of content, there's, like, different rules and legislation. So, I don't know. That's why, like, I don't touch it often. I'm even scared to, like, play copyrighted music on stream. In the sense of, in OBS, or, like, most streaming platforms, you can exclude certain audio sources from your VOD or your recording. Like, the VOD is the stream archive after you end the stream. Like, there's ways to, like, remove certain... Like, if I were to play, like, YouTube Music or Spotify, I could remove that source from the VOD. But I'm still too scared to do that. Because, like, what if I accidentally don't exclude it and then I'm cooked? Or, like, what if Shakira clicks on the stream and then I'm playing her song and she gets really mad? That's a big reason, too, why, like, I stopped watching, like, normal YouTube videos on stream. Is because my VODs would, go would get copyrighted. Which makes sense. I mean, it's not my content that I'm reacting to. That's why anytime there's a down period and I put a video on, I always put my videos on. Because I own it, so I don't get cooked. And it's also really annoying because YouTube's copyright system is still, like, really fucking broken. Like, I've had some of my VODs claimed for game music because some bozo SoundCloud person will use a sample of a Mario Kart song and then claim every single Mario Kart song they see on YouTube. It's like so stupid. Like, I had somebody claim my whole three hour stream that I did of Wii Music because of one song in the game, because they sampled it in their little song. And this has happened a multitude of times for like different types of game music that I use like in the background, or if it's part of a game. It's ridiculous. Like somebody sampled, what was it? Somebody sampled the Wii, like Wii Sports menu screen music, and it got claimed on a VOD that I uploaded to YouTube. It's like, what? What are you doing, sir? And it's not like my YouTube channels are monetized yet, so it's not a huge deal. But like, in the future, it will become a problem. That's why, like, I have a playlist. So if we have any other streamers or YouTubers or whatever who watch, I have a playlist of copyright-free game music that hopefully will not get you cleaned if you use the music. 
because most of the videos I've either played on stream before or I've tested on like alt accounts to see if they got copywritten. And most of them, they all should be clean. I understand the argument that yeah, like YouTube or stream content is isn't fully copyright protected, but the big reason why like gaming content in particular has popped off in the past like five years is because somebody playing a game for a video or on stream, it's literally advertising for the developer, but for free. Like, if I play a game and I gas up the developer in the game, they didn't pay me to say that shit. That's just me giving an honest opinion. And the reason why consumers like that more is because they know that money is not a part of the opinion. So it's typically against, like, a developer's interest to, like, copyright claim music or gameplay footage that somebody else is making or distributing. And that's a huge reason why I don't want... I guess my YouTube main channel content to be gaming. Because what if there is a point in which... Like, every single game developer decides to just copyright claim everything and everyone. Then there goes your career. I know for live stream content, I typically will do games. But that's because it kind of makes sense to do games on stream. Because you can easily fill hours and hours and hours. And when you do live, you're incentivized to be live for a long amount of time. But I think for the main channel YouTube, also it's supposed to be for stream highlights, so probably like 50% of the videos on the channel will be gaming highlights. But the other half, I want to keep like either like a playing concept or like a just chatting concept. Because that does push me creatively a bit more. That literally did no damage. <laughs> you know who might take an L right now? The non-followers. Because you know what? They're not allowed to chat. But you know how you can solve that? By following. Because we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, turn that heart button purple. You get cool emotes and you get the ability to type in chat. If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. So, everybody, um, put your favorite emote in the chat room. Because we are in emote only mode. Behave.
I am back. I don't want some mic crunch around. It's so loud. Today, earlier, I had the bacon. This one is the sausage. You know what? I'll say it. Taco Bell fell off when they changed the crunch wrap from like hash brown, like little hash brown bits. What's it called? Not hush puppies. When they changed from like little bites to the hash brown patty inside the crunch wrap. Like it's still good, but it's not as good. Their eggs are so good. It's weird because like it doesn't taste like egg. It's more sweet. I just wanted a few bites. I'm not hungry enough for the whole thing yet. Let's get back to work. One of my old favorite bits from stream is the question book. And the last time I used it was, I think about a year ago. But I legit can't find the book. 
It's in my closet somewhere. I don't want to dig through it, I'll be honest. Instead of if I ever do find book if I ever do find that book, I think what I'll do. I'm not gonna cut the book up, but like I'll write the questions on paper and put them in a jar. Cause I think that's a bit better than like flipping through a book. Cause when you flip through a book and open to a page, you can kinda skim a little bit. Just a little bias with your with your choice in which question you read out aloud. But I think the jar is kind of funny. Then we could do like a channel for redemption for a random question from the jar. Hopefully Magnus will level up here. Hell yeah, brother. Magnus grew to level 34. Only... 12 more levels. Man, one of my long-term goals with the save was to get all my Pokemon to level 99. That would take literally forever. And like, I'm not doing that on stream. It's just like, for me to pass time. The water is so nice in this game, I know. It could be my nostalgia talking, but it just feels like there's so much more expression with 2D art, and I think the reason is because when you work in 3D, you get into this weird uncanny valley space where the audience, or you also, want things to look realistic. So if something doesn't look super photorealistic, it kind of bothers you. Like you always think at the back of your head, oh that lighting isn't right, or that leaf isn't correct. So when you are working in a 2D medium, or you're consuming 2D media, you know that it's not supposed to look realistic, so you kind of appreciate it a bit more. In serio? At least this Xinxiao has Volt Absorb, so it's literally doing nothing to me. Sorry, I'm not like as chatty now. Like I said earlier, the two hours is where I'm the most chatty. <laughs> now I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. I still got 12 more levels to get through. Okay, I don't think this is how I'm supposed to play Pokemon. I wonder if there's any creator, like YouTuber or streamer, who when they plays who when they play games offline they commentate, like to themselves. I don't do this. 
But what I will admit to is that sometimes I'll think about like what little jokes I would make if I was on camera. Like in my head. I don't say them. But I think them to myself. I do sometimes like over dramatically comically laugh. Like if I'm playing a game by myself. Like I would laugh how I how I would laugh if I were on cam. Because obviously my my real laugh is different than my stream laugh. Not intentionally. But it's really funny because my stream laugh is becoming my real laugh. It's really fucking weird. Wait, another detail about Monday's little incident? Because, okay, for context, you if you know, you know. But I cried because I was really mad. I was really mad. And when I get really mad, I cry, right? And my sister knows this. So when I went, out, when I went downstairs to, like, fix the internet, like, she was downstairs. And I was telling her what happened. And she's like, it's good that you stopped the game. I told you to quit. I was like, yeah, I did. I listened to you. And then, dude, my sister, okay, she has ASD. So, you know, she has a pass. So there's sometimes where she says things that, like, she doesn't mean to be mean, but it's, like, mean to say. So, the whole debacle, because my roommate was setting up his old PS3 so they could play Call of Duty and, like, kill zombies or some shit. And my sister, because she knew that I had ended the stream, and we were planning on playing games together, her and I, Monday night. So she asked me, like, as I was getting a snack in the kitchen, she's like, Hey, Peace, and do you, like, want to watch us play? And she said it with, like, an inviting tone, okay? She s said it implying that she wanted me to watch her play. So I'm like, yeah, maybe. And then she was like, actually, I don't want you to watch us play. You're kind of annoying. Like, she dead ass said that shit to me when she knew I was, like, still trying to calm down from being angry. So, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll just go upstairs then. And she's like, yeah, you're gonna be doing, like, computer work anyway. I'm like, yeah, I, I am. And at this point, I'm like, I'm like tearing up again. Because, like, that's, like, super mean to say what she said, right? But, like, I know she didn't mean it, though. I genuinely know she didn't mean it. And, like, I talked to her about it the next day. I was like, hey, what she said was, like, kind of not chill. And she's like, oh, I didn't know. Which... <laughs> it's her L. But... So, like, I was getting upset because, like, oh, she, <laughs> she was so mean. And I was like, I feel so alone, Sash. And... Because my sister knows, like, if I'm upset, I like being around people. So, like, if I'm upset, I'll, like, knock on her door and be like, Hey, can we, like, watch a movie? So, <laughs> wait, Maddie grew to level 35. Oh my god, holy shit. So, <laughs> I went upstairs, and I, like, cried a little bit more, and then I watched a video, and I watched movies for the rest of the day. But, I don't know, it's just like, dude. <laughs> like, she should have known to not say that. Man, uh, I, I can look back on it and laugh because, like, I know she wasn't trying to be mean, but holy shit. <laughs> My god. Also, hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Yeah, she got me good. Oh, I was- I brought up that story because when I do, like, play games, like, by myself or with my sister, because she and I are still playing the Mafia games, like, I will comically laugh really loud because I think it's fucking funny. Or, like, I'll make, like, little jokes in between the cutscenes. And I think that's funny. And sometimes she thinks it's funny, but I do it partially because I know it kind of annoys her. You know, like, just, like, sibling shit. <laughs> w, sister, and chat. Nah, she's great. She tries her best. Yeah, so, like... And it's so funny because she'll call me out for it. She'll be like, hey, Peason, but she'll say my name. She'd be like, hey, you know you're not on stream, right? I'm like, yeah, but it's still, like, funny. It's still, like, enjoyable for me to try and be, like, funny. But then there's also times where she's like, man, I wish we were recording this. Like, if something, like, funny happened in the game. Because we're playing it on the PS5. And, like, the, the video recording, like, function isn't that good. Because, like, you know how you can, like, record the past 30 seconds, minute, two minutes? We always forget to, like, press record. <laughs> so, like, like something funny will happen. And then we're like, oh my god, that's so funny. We should record this video and watch it later. And then we don't record it until it's, like, too late. 
Tell her you're practicing your comedy for in your life. I have said that, and she's like, no, it's stupid, stop. I literally have said that to her verbatim in the past. But I don't know. Like, my, my priorities in life has changed, because for the longest time, I, like, I didn't want to talk, I didn't want to, like, engage with people, I didn't want to be... Oh, this is gonna be deep. I didn't want to be remembered, which I think is one way to say it. But as I've gotten older, as I've gained more confidence, as I've, like, found my, like, inner voice, like, I want people to know me. I want people to remember me in a good way. Like, I want to try and leave an impact. Um, hashtag Wacky Wednesday. <laughs> I was trying to think of something that started with D, that way it could rhyme with deep, but I couldn't think of anything. A huge argument that I'll hear about people who want kids is they want their legacy to live on. Like literally their name, their kids, their legacy. They want that to be their mark in the world. But I don't want that. Because that whole debacle, the whole online debate about the ethics of having a kid, my main takeaway is you cannot expect somebody else to be your legacy. You cannot expect somebody else in this case, your kid, to be the one good thing you see yourself doing in this world. If you want your kid to be what people remember you for, then maybe you need to do some self-reflecting. Maybe you need to figure out what makes you you and what will make you someone that you are proud to present yourself as. Let that sit for a little bit. I know most of my viewers are young. Like teens or early 20s. But think about why people are having kids. Now, I'm by no means anti-kid, okay? If I have an oopsie and legislation is like, hey, no more healthcare for women, uh-oh, you know? But if I have the choice, I ain't making that choice. Also, like, th there's, there's, like, so many positives to, like, physically having a child when compared to the negatives, especially as a girly or, like, AFAB, you know? Um, look up the husband stitch. Okay, I was writing down a joke that I was thinking of the other night. I'm not gonna share it now, but... Where is it? Uh oh. <laughs> okay. I, I will leak the joke the next Mario Kart stream. But... Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna leak the full joke, because I... Ethan is chat and I'm scared. Because I know Ethan farms clips, so I'm not giving you the whole joke, Ethan. But, okay, I'll ask chat first. You know the cliche party trick trope? Where you have, like, a little quirky thing that you do that you like to show off in front of your friends? Like, maybe you could do little finger tricks. Or you can, like, win an arm wrestling match. My party trick is that this shoulder can pop out of the socket. I've been able to do this forever for as long as I know. And doctors just say I'm, like, double-jointed. But you know what? Maybe... 
My bones are broken. Wait, can I do this on cam? Wait. Wait, you can't really see? Okay. Right here. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that's so noticeable. Okay. Yeah, I can make it pop out in the back. So, that has been my party trick for years and years and years. But let me just say, I have a new party trick up my sleeve. And you know what? You guys will never see it. And I'm, I'll leak it the next Mario Kart stream. I'm still working on how to word the bit. The wine cork trick? Oh, I cannot open a wine bottle for the life of me. I posted it on Twitter when this happened. But I tried to open... <laughs> the first time I tried to open a wine bottle, I pushed it in too much. So, oh wait. So first, the cork split. Like, the, the wine opening tool we had split the cork. And then I was trying to pry it out with all these different types of contraptions. And then it fell in the bottle. <laughs> so I can't open it for shit. Man, Magnus is so close to 35. How funny do you guys think it would be? Cause like, I know today I've been like, oh yeah, I'm working on these jokes and bits. Like, how funny? Would it be like if I actually like, practice my bits at like a stand-up club? Magnus is trying to learn lock-on. I don't even know what that is, let's see. Lock-on, normal type. Locks on the foe to ensure the next move hits. Oh. Okay. So I guess that's good if you have more movesets that aren't 100% accuracy. Um... Mm, I can see the benefit to lock on, but for my playstyle, I think it's kind of dumb. I don't need it. You know, I told you guys I've been going to a comedy club like every week to support local. I haven't gone for two months now. It's mainly because it was too late in the night and I hated having to take the last bus home. I'll be honest. And it was really awkward because the last bus would leave like 20 minutes before the show would end. So like I would be the only bozo walking out the club early. And I felt so awkward. And like, I already stand out a lot. I got a mask on, headphones on. You know, I don't need another reason for people to hate me.
I think next loop round I gotta go heal. Because Magnus is running out of pay pay. I'll try Thundershock. My only concern with fighting with Magnus against Relicanth is that Magnus does not have a lot of HP. It's been almost three hours. My goal today is to at least get all my Pokemon leveled up. What should be doable? This clam pearl might live. Or it might not! <laughs> Manny grew to level 36. I really need Manectric to learn another offensive move. Because right now their only electric move can paralyze, which is not good. Magnus does not have enough HP, so we're going to switch to Ralph for now if we encounter Relicants. I can do but don't want to do is run ads because guys we are three hours in the stream so it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99 just five dollars keep your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime 
click subscribe to see if you got a free sub available. And if you gift subs, you can kill my Pokemon. So, um, don't subscribe. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Man, it's been a while since I've been paralyzed. In game, of course. Happens all the time in real life. The chinchillas are the freaking worst. Thank you. 
Ralph is my goat. In the past few moments, I was having like flashbacks of the one time I went to urgent care and the lady couldn't, I don't know if she was a nurse, she couldn't find my veins. I remember she pricked both of my inner elbows and both of my fucking wrist. Or like here. My knuckles? Or my hand? Not my wrist, but my hand. And she still couldn't find my fucking vein. Like, and this happened like three years ago or some shit. And it suddenly just popped in my head. I don't know why. I'll be honest. I can't find my own veins on my arm unless they're blue. Just be honest. But like, honey, if you're a trained professional, how can you not find the vein within four times? That's all. I, I don't- I generally don't know why that memory popped in my head. Magnus Girdle level 36, let's go. Hell yeah. Everybody's tripping about AI, whether they hate it or they like it. I personally don't like it. I do understand the benefits of using AI in certain procedures can be. And I'm confused. In game. But I do think it's concerning when people are using AI <laughs> to like do their homework or write their essays or make their resumes. Cause like then you're literally just repressing your own voice because you're choosing to be lazy. You know what I mean? Oh my god, I'm not gonna take myself- Myself out with confusion, am I? Oh my god. Jesus freaking Christ. Ralph almost minecrafted herself. <laughs> Ideal meal. I think Ralph is getting triggered by my AI topic. I can understand not wanting to do an assignment or like wanting to be more efficient by utilizing AI. But if you're using it to like replace a more creative endeavor or something that is related to your own self expression, like don't. Like, why are you letting a robot take that away from you? Like, why are you letting a robot repress your urge to want to make something? And I freaking hate hearing the argument of, like, the little scrubs who say, Well, I can't draw anyway. I like when the robot draw for me. And it's like, yeah. The concept is cool. But, like, don't use it to profitize. I understand you want to do it for fun, but... Don't condone those who are using it for profit or further repressing other people's visual voices and expression. What am I hunting? I'm just leveling right now. I'm not looking for anything in particular. Is the legendary not in this area? I think I know where the legendary is. But I don't think I'm gonna need it for my Elite Four team anyway, so I'm probably not gonna catch it in this run.
How funny do you guys think a stream would be where it stream ends when I catch a shiny? And then it's literally just a subathon <laughs> that never ends. That would be an insane stream. But then also imagine I find it. Like, you know how some people will grind, will like restart their game to get a shiny with one of their starting Pokemon? I've seen videos of people try that shit, it's crazy. They literally just restart the game like hundreds of times. I think I would lose my mind if I tried to do that. What I learned from Monday's stupid Wii Sports Resort stream is that for me to enjoy something, I need to see linear progress. That is why I personally really like sim games or story games because I can anticipate and see that I will improve with time. And that's why the stupid Wii Sports Resorts made me really angry, because my progress was not linear. So if I were to do a concept, or like a video or a stream where it's like, stream ends when I find a shiny, that's full RNG. I think that would trigger the fuck out of me. I think that stream would make me genuinely mad as well. But probably not as mad, because at that point it's random. It's not like me failing. It's the game just cucking me. Which is still frustrating, but it's not as mad as like me not progressing or failing at my own volition. Man, the Chinchows are such an L. They have such low XP, too. I assume Manectric will learn a new move at 39 or 40. Because I want to start battling with Manectric.
Okay, as some of you guys know, I have a visual impairment now. It's been there for a few months, but I finally know what it's called. I Okay, I don't know what it's called, but like I know what it is. My vision like darts back and forth randomly sometimes. <laughs> you know how they have those like eye trackers? That you, you could down like an extension on your computer or some shit and like it'll show like a visual indicator of where your eyes are looking at on your screen. So like there's some people that have like done videos or there's some like games that use that um, UI function. <laughs> I'm just picturing like because it's like this little clear transparent like blobbish that shows on screen for where your eye moves where your focus is drawn. Like, just imagine it darting across the screen. Because <laughs> my eyes are bugging. <laughs> oh yeah, I kind of want to download it to see if it picks it up. I think it's the same function they use. Because I know there's one game. I don't remember what it's called. I've seen people do playthroughs of it. But it's like, it progresses to the story every time you blink. Now, I would, I would suck at ass at that game. I blink all the time. And plus, my eyes are, like, kind of small, so it would probably not even register my eyes as being open half the time. There's been a few times at Plasma where, like, workers have come up to my, my little station as I'm, like, pumping. Because, like, when I look down, which you guys can see during the streams, because, like, I'm looking down at my laptop screen, it kind of looks like my eyes aren't open, <laughs> so... <laughs> A few times some workers have walked- because like I'm watching videos on my phone so I'm looking down. Like, phone on one hand, pump on the other. And they're like, hey, Peason, are you up? I'm like, yeah. I'm just looking down. Because <laughs> my eyes are so small. Wait, I also wouldn't like be able to like laugh during those- Doing that, because like when I smile, like I got- How do I say it nicely? My eyes look very small when I smile. Manny grew to level 37. Let's go. Oh, come on. Just give me a new move already. I know I can give it a TM, but that's cheating. Plus, I'm worried about the moment I use a TM. I'm gonna want- I'm gonna want to use it on a different Pokemon. I'm a hoarder. If you don't know already. Talking about hoarding, I used to also, like, collect scraps of paper like i used to have a whole like bin like a one by two bin filled with like paper like full sheets and scraps because you know i'm artsy and i'm paperized so i would keep little every little minute scrap of paper i would use when i was crafting because i was convinced i would use it for a future project But I will have you know, when I moved out, I left the scrap box of paper at my parents' house. So you know what? I hope they threw it away. Guys, we're almost at 110 hours. Isn't that crazy? 
The peace lock is taking so long. I cannot wait till this is over, but then it's like, I also can wait, because... What are we gonna do once we beat this? Like, this is peak. Those Pokemons are so low level. I know. Or maybe I'm just a Giga Chad. It does seem kind of wild going back to like older areas in the game and thinking about how I struggled to like beat a level 10 Worm Poke or something. Like, that used to be my reality. But look at me now! Watch this Chinchow paralyze me right off the jump. So predictable! I'm doing this because I'm lazy. Yeah, I just hit 110 hours. Hell yeah. What other, like, landmark do we have now, though? Like, we passed 69. We hit 100. Like, what's the next funny number? There is no other funny number. Kind of like when you turn 25, you have no other special birthdays after this. Like, 55 isn't even special anymore, because even if you're a senior citizen, you can't retire. It's like, what's the point? Magnus might be able to sweep here. Watch this. Oh. Oh, Yawn is fine. Yawn is fine. Watch this. Hell yeah. See, so you did over yourself, Magnus. Magnus go to level 37. Let's freaking go. They got 90 HP now. Huge.
Guys, be honest. Do you think my speedrun is ruined? Who thinks I'll get a new world record? <laughs> Man, if I had a speedrun, what game would I choose? You know what I'd pick? Wii Sports Resort Lucia Champion. No, 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 no. I, I think I'm out of everything. If I genuinely tried and grinded, I probably could maybe get like a Mario Kart track PB or something. I think I could. Like if I genuinely tried for like months, maybe a year, I could like maybe get a PB or world WR world record and maybe like Yoshi's Island. I'm like genuinely so good at that track. I'd have to learn all the strats though. Which, guys, whenever I, like, do genuinely, like, grind Mario Kart, I'm gonna be so goaded. I'm gonna be, like, messy, but for Mario Kart. Another relic can't, okay. Can the game just give you like 10 relic cans in a row? That'd be great. Guys, I think you know what time it is. We are another 30 minutes in the stream. Got another 10 levels to go. Maybe another hour until we're ready for the gym. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you're following the channel. You get cool emotes and you get the cyber chat. Turn that heart button purple. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on that we don't miss a single stream. My goal today is to get a million followers, and I'm confused! It's so annoying! Oh my god. Please don't. Ain't no way. Thank you. I was going to be really mad if Ralph hit himself again.
Manny grew to level 38. No new moves still. Oh, this is not good. If Manectric does not get another offensive move, 546, that's going to be very bad. Thank you for not paralyzing me. I appreciate that a lot. I was nodding my head because I saw Volt Absorb and immediately it went for Confuse Ray. So annoying. Come on, Ralph, pull through. Magnus can maybe live through this. Mm. 
Magnus is so cool. Magnus grew to level 38. Let's freaking go. Only eight more levels. We can for sure do that today. Without a doubt. The only setback is if Manectric fails to learn another offensive move. That'll be a huge L. But I'm sure he will.
The game is saved. I want to stop my live split. I've noticed I've been ticking a lot in the last, like, 20 minutes. So I'm going to turn my ring lights down. You guys can't- I don't know if y'all can notice it, but, like, my eyes will- My eyes and my eyebrows will tick. I think it's because my TV, I have it like super, super dark. But even my, oh yeah, because like when I have my ring lights on, I have to have my computer screen on brighter. Just so I can see it. But dude, when I start taking, I know I need this too much light. Because last time I had too much light, I popped a vessel in my eye. So I don't want that to happen again. <laughs> also, I'm going to have one on my contract. Wait, I should sanitize my hands. Forgot to do that earlier. I don't want to get my mouse greasy. Because <laughs> this is the mouse my friend gave me. And, dude, <laughs> I looked at it yesterday and it was so greasy. I, I just have sweaty hands. And also, like, I'm really bad about, like, snacking and using my computer at the same time. So, okay, wait. Okay, there is no crumbs in my keys. But there used to be a lot, is what I'll say. Like, if I had a traditional keyboard, there would be all types of gunk between the keys. But since I have a more shallow keyboard, it's, it's a bit easier to clean. Man, sausage is so good. Because, like, sausage is a huge no-no for low cholesterol dives. But you know, I can splurge a little bit. Cause sausage is bad. Cause it's usually made from pork or beef. And then since it's like hyper processed, it usually has more saturated fat and cholesterol in it. Cause it has a bunch of fillers. But you know, having like beef or sausage once every week or every other week is fine. I just can't have it every day like I used to. Because when my doc was telling me what I should avoid eating, it was literally all the ingredients that I would cook with every day. So no wonder I had high cholesterol. Or moderate at risk of high cholesterol. I have to go in, I think in August, to get more blood work done to see how, like, I've been doing the past four months. And hopefully, it'll be lower. Man, Taco Bell is so good. Yeah, I took my union snack break. <clears throat> Let's get back to work.
rare relicant. Oh, Magnus should be able to sleep. It's only level 30. Okay, dude. Manny grew to level 39. <gasps> Manny's trying to learn bite. Okay. Bite is a good move. Wait, it causes flinching? That's kind of huge. I forgot about that. Spark is higher power level than Bite and Quick Attack, though. Roar is kind of stupid. You know, I'm swapping it out for Roar, because I still like the strat of having one of every move type if possible. And Roar is D-Win. Manny learned Bite. Now all he needs to learn is Thunderbolt. Or Thunderstorm. Because that's what almost took on my Gyarados. He almost got fried alive. You know who else might get fried? <laughs> the nuts. Because, <laughs> guys, we're four hours into stream. <laughs> so, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Do it now. And if you gift a sub, you can kill my Pokemon. Back in it. Classic. I do think paralysis is better than confusion, though. Confusion is definitely more detrimental.
quick heal. Magnus grew to level 39. Let's go. Getting there. Seven more levels. Chinchos, I could probably swap to Manectric now, because they have Bite. I think I'll try that next time we see a Chincho. Here we go. Level 22. Yeah, Manetric is 118 HP. And we got paralyzed right off the jump. Nice. And the Chinchou is faster. Probably because I haven't battled with it much. There we go. It's crit. So we don't know what the base damage is. But it's still stronger than a Spark would be. Hmm. I'm not sure yet, though. It does kind of suck that it's slower. A relicant. Let's see if this will take him out. On oh, your nine levels above. Really? Really? Magnetron, that's what the final evolution's called. It's not Magneton, it's Magnetron.
I think my Manetric is still paralyzed. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Damn. Wait, I'm not paralyzed! Yay! We got lucky. The Volt Absorb is so good. I gotta mute real quick.
We're in the clear. How's the journey been so far? Long and treacherous, but I think we're nearing its end. Also, hi, Mint. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Today's been chill. I've just been leveling. Literally all day. <laughs> but the end is nigh. My goal today is to beat the 8th gym, which it's probably gonna be like uh, another hour of leveling. Awkward. I was literally just thinking in my head, I was like, please let there be like a secret item that doubles my XP. Like even if it's a held item for one Pokemon, like, like just let me have it. I don't know if there is in this game though, because I, I think if there was, I th feel like a chat I would have told me already. Have I found rare candies? I have found like five. And I'm kind of saving them. Because I'm a hoarder. And I don't know like which Pokemon I want to use it on. Because I know that the more you like physically battle your Pokemon, the more... They listen to you or some shit. Or like the powerful... There's like a different stat or something when you like actually battle with them versus leveling up rare candies. I don't know what it's specifically called. 
Because, like, I was looking up the other night, like, how to get more rare candies Pokemon Emerald. And literally the walkthrough said just hack your, hack your, hack, just hack your GBA, you know? But I was like, no, I'm not gonna install a <laughs> hack. And there's no way to craft it either. Because I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I can use berries. But the, the Pokeblox is most... Fuck, I'm confused. Is mostly for, like, the Pokemon used for contests. But we can't do contests because there's no more online. And I'm... You mean Eevees? Maybe that's what they're called? It's like a different stat. <laughs> I'm confused! <laughs> a rare candy? We were just talking about rare candies. Oh my god, the game is listening to me. You know what, since we're going to the Pokemon Center anyway, let's see how many rare candies I actually have. I bet I have... Um, I think I have four. I know I don't have a lot. But I know my Linuses and Linoon have picked it up. Some people say when you defeat certain Pokemon, you get Eevee and it raises your stats differently. Yeah, it's, it's some shit like that. You know, I'm not speedrunning, so, like, I don't care too much, but... <laughs> if you can't see, like, I'm abusing the XP share as much as I can. Okay, I bet I have four rare candies, including the one I picked up today. Let's see, I put my new one in. Oh, I have 10 rare candies. That's a lot more than I thought. But I honestly should save them for whenever, like, I actually decide who's going to be my Elite Four team. Which is what I've been saying from the beginning, but I only have 10. Dang, I mean, I went into this thinking I had four, but still just 10? Oh, I know everybody else who does a fucking Nuzlocke does the stupid rare candy hack, but you know what? I'll say it, they're all fake gamers. I would never install a mod or a hack. My fingers are not crossed. Yeah, 10 is like literally more than double than I thought I had. The King's Rock is huge. Yeah, there is no item that, like, doubles my XP. Such an L. I hate Nintendo and Pokemon and the world. They should just let me buy rare candy for, like, a million dollars in-game. You know, why not? People will buy 10,000 Gucci purses. Like, why not? Just, like, let us participate in extreme capitalism and buy a million dollar rare candy. Get back to work. No, I'm not sleeping on the job. I just woke up early today so I could get Taco Bell. Which I have no regrets. You know, Taco Bell is one of the few fast food places that haven't like doubled 
the cost of their menu items. I swear, a Jack in the Box McDonald's hamburger is like ten, twelve dollars now. When I think, which is like almost double than what they were like five years ago. But now, like Taco Bell, in my area at least, they've only increased their prices by like maybe a dollar or two per item, which isn't too bad. No! Stop! So annoying. Wait, how is this Chinchow faster than me? What the fuck? I'm literally double its level. What the hell? Okay, if we get another Chinchow, we'll try Manetric. Hi, Mac. Stream ends when I beat the Elite Four. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I've not had talk about that often, but I like the quesadillas. I like the the quesadillas used to like be so good, but anytime I get a quesadilla now, it's really fucking greasy. Which is interesting because before, everything else used to be really greasy, but now it's just the quesadillas. Yeah, their new chicken, oh, I forgot what it's called. It's good, but it's like a little bit too spicy for me. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, the cantina chicken, I like it. But it's like a little bit spicy. I keep on seeing ads for like an empanada with the cantina chicken, but my locations don't have it anymore. They sold out like so quickly. I was sad. But you know what? I'll say it. The best item on any fast food menu is going to be their breakfast. Mainly because, like, it's really fucking hard to mess up a breakfast item. I think the reason why I like breakfast menus so much is because they typically don't have veggies. And you know what? This might be controversial, but I hop is like decent i used to think ihop was shit but that's because when i was little i had only gone to ihop twice and i got pancakes both times and the pancakes were shit but going as an adult and like not having to choose off the kids menu their omelets are pretty damn good <laughs> were the crepes wait their savory crepe is so good I have been eyeing the Trace Leche's pancakes, but I hope pancakes have never, like, done me good. They always do me dirty. Magnus grew to level 40. Let's freaking go. Six more levels, guys. Come on. Manny also grew to level 40. Let's go. Give me a new move. Fuck you, Pokemon. Guys, if we do a fan meetup, do we want to do it at IHOP or the Cheesecake Factory? I know the Cheesecake Factory is good, but it's really expensive. And I don't know if the company card will, like, get declined or not. <laughs> Wait, imagine, like... Imagine? Do you think... Okay, you know how if you've worked service or restaurants, you know. Like, when the local, like, ballet team or basketball team comes in, you got, like, 20 little teenagers coming in. Do you think, like, any celebrity has, like, rented out an IHOP? <laughs> like, just for fun? I would do that maybe like yeah it does sound like kind of fun <laughs> wait 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 we do fan meetup at ihop but we all just really fancy but and then we plan it like 
during prom season, so we walk in. And we say this is not a peace in underscore fan meetup. We're just coming home from prom. <laughs> they would hate us. <laughs> no, I would feel really bad if I, if any time, like I have like a party or something, or like have a huge group of people, I would not like go to a dining place. I would- okay, I'll be honest, if I ever have a company meeting and I choose the restaurant, we're going to a buffet. Cause like, you know the buffet is anticipating lots of people. Like, you don't walk in to, like, a trapper sushi with 20 people. They will like, all spit and shit in your food. If you do that. Yeah, of course, it will be on my company card. We're waiting for our LLC to get approved. Magnus might have a shot here. Ooh. I was thinking about it. If I ever have, like, an editor, I could, like, hire them freelance. But, like, it would make sense to, like, have an LLC anyway. Just for, like, tax reasons. I do wonder how, like, companies who offer, like, insurance and shit, I wonder, genuinely, like, how do they get that set up? But, guys, if we ever have, like, lots of employees, I'll just get an accountant. And not, like, an, an OF girl, we'll get a real accountant. Trick, I didn't realize their their perk was they they have spark just like if you tackle them. <laughs> okay, we're both paralyzed. No, but legit, if I get an LOC that we can like take out a 10k loan from the bank. And we can go ballin'! Okay, I gotta go heal because two of my Pokemon are now paralyzed. No, but guys, you know what I'll say? If you have, like, a business license, it is genuinely really easy to get a loan from the bank. You know, I was looking at rates and plans for fun one day. You know, I was dreaming. And I was looking up, like, different perks banks have for businesses. And let me say, some of them have, like, really good offers. <laughs> Like, when people say, oh, it's so hard to start a business. Honey, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not. The hardest part is, like, clicking apply on your license form. Like, it's genuinely really easy. I think the hardest part, potentially, is going to be, like, managing people. Like, that, to me, is always scary. Because, like, what if somebody on your team is sus? Like, Among Us. Or, like, what if I, like, scam by accident? Ooh. Also, you know who else is scamming? The people who are, like, watching but not following. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Turn that heart purple today. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Do it now. If you follow the channel, I'll give you a high five. I'm not even kidding. Get back to work. Okay, I know I said I would maybe battle the gym today, but I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, sitting on my ass. Oh, they is exhausting. No, but actually, it's really bad for your back. Being in a management position scares me a bit because people are unpredictable. No, for real! Like, you genuinely don't know who's gonna be, like, a creep. And more often than not, people who have, like, higher authority positions within companies are creeps! Because they know they can get away with it. That's why, like, I'm very scared. If I ever do have, like, the opportunity to, like, expand the piece in underscore 17 team from me and the editor, which is me, so from me to, like, more people, <laughs> like, I would have faith and trust in Pixie Dust that, like, people are nice, but you, you truly don't know. That's why, like, I think it's kind of good that a lot of work has become remote. Because if you're in a remote environment, then it's a lot easier to, like, monitor. It's a lot easier to, like, document. And then also, like, if you're, like, not physically around people, like... It's obviously a lot harder for them to, like, physically harm you. So, like, if I ever... I probably would just have everybody work remotely. Like, why the fuck not? I wouldn't have to, like, have an office space. That's pretty- that's pretty cool. It's a dub. You know, everybody could work on their time. I know everybody says working from home is the dream, which it kind of is. But I don't think a lot of people could work from home because it requires a lot of independence. Like, you have to be able to work on your own. You have to be able to hold yourself accountable. And also, you have to have a lot of, like, self-motivation to, like, do your work. Because I know- okay. <laughs> like, if I had to get a remote job, I could probably do it. But... I don't know if I could be, like, as efficient if I knew somebody was, like, watching. So, I don't know. Self-discipline and making a space in your home that isn't a living space. Exactly. Like, I always told myself, if I ever have, like, a house house, like, in my name, or my- and my sugar mama's name, of course, I would want, like, a three-bedroom. Minimal. Because I would want my own bedroom, my sugar mama can have her bedroom, and then the third bedroom could be a dedicated workroom. Because the- what is nice is that my roommates gave me the larger bedroom in our unit, so, like, I have my bed, I have my TV, and then I have my workspace. So, like, my stream and my art space. Like, if- like, literally, if my desk was closer to my bed, it would mess with my head. Ain't no way! Thank you for the follow! Plus one, guys. Guys, the call to action worked. Thank you! Can we get some yo's? Wait, I wasn't even looking at my screen. Imagine that was a- a renegade. I know whenever I talk about my future concern, concern, concerning streaming or YouTube and stuff, I talk about if or when. It's because if you have a dream, with any dream or any passion you have, I think you have to go in, like, legitimately delusional thinking you're going to achieve said dream. Because if you're gonna do something without, like, full... I'm confused! Without full, like, internal validation, thinking that you are going to do it, you're not going to do it. If you're going to go into something half-assed, you're not going to do it. Like, a few of my friends have told me that I'm Delulu <laughs> for thinking I can, like, be successful doing what I'm doing. And every year they're like, hey, peace, and it's been a year. It's been two years. It's been almost three years at this point. But I'm like, you know... Success is an instant. And as long- Because if you think about it too, 
The longer you do something. Wait, we just missed 111 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Somebody screenshot it, please. If you think about it, the longer you do something, you, the better you get at it. Like, you can't become a painter in a year. You have to have years and years and years of experience. And I think that way towards everything. And I've only realized this in the past three years. Which is why I've been streaming for the past three years. Because for so long, I used to jump from hobby to hobby to hobby. Just because I wanted to do something new. But if you truly want to be good at something, you have to keep doing it. Shia LaBeouf, just do it. And the people who get successful really quick, those are the ones in which I say it's mostly luck. But I also don't agree with the sentiment of, hey, I've been streaming for 10 years and I have zero viewers. Then, yeah, that's probably your fault. <laughs> okay, le okay, let's see it this way. You know, for a piece in stream, uh, you know, I average 3 to 5. You know, I average 5 on a good day, 3 on if I take it out. But to me, 3 is still 3. That's not zero, that's still three. Because if you, okay. To me, if you can hold one viewer, then you're resonating with somebody, you're connecting with somebody. That's still a person. Like, yeah, you're not getting a bag. Yeah, you're not, in the big scheme of things, successful. But you're still doing something with substance, you know? 10 years and no viewers is rough, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. A lot of people quit after a year. A lot of people quit after six months. And I think they're just not waiting enough. But ten years is also like... Honey, that's a decade. That's like a child. Like, that's... That's... That's a bit... Too long to do something. And not mix it up. Like, if you've been playing... Um, Call of Duty every year for ten years. And you're not seeing growth. Maybe, honey, Call of Duty is not your thing. That's me with school right now. I'm a music education major, and I feel pressure to be a better player. And it's annoying to know I cannot get better instantly, but it takes time. Dude, that's literally me with art. That's genuinely why I haven't drawn in so long. Because as with, as with like, any skill or craft, whenever you take a break, you have to relearn how to do it. And I'm trying to, like, get back into sketching, but I, I fucking hate sketching and practicing. Because when you're practicing, it's not supposed to be good. And it's, like, this weird mental hurdle that I'm almost able to jump over. Because I was listening to this one like little video and it was talking about like humility as an adult. Like the older you get, the more you care about what you think about yourself and then what others think of yourself. But when you're a kid, you can fail and it doesn't bother you as much because like you're a kid, all you think about is yourself. Like you're just inherently more selfish when you're younger. And I was like, damn. Like, that makes so much sense. Like, you just- You, I mean in general. Like, one needs to learn to genuinely not care about outward perception. That way you can fully allow yourself to improve. And only care about your own potential judgment. Why do we get so deep during these Pokemon streams? No, but legit, imagine you're a psych major and your professor is giving the lecture as they're playing Pokemon. No, I think the Zoomers would like that. I've said this before, but it's so weird seeing like young people in like educated positions. Like I'm seeing like little Zoomers be like nurses and shit now. I feel so old. Like, out of the dental clinics I've been to, two of the workers were literally 18. I'm like, damn! <laughs> and I'm confused, of course. Oof.
Oh wait, it didn't paralyze me. I dodged that bullet. You know what? If streaming fails for me, I could be a motivational speaker. I think I could do it. Put me on the TED Talk stage. I can do it. The only, okay, the only thing holding me back is my stupid stutter and lisp. Genuinely. Give me an empty Google slide doc and some paper and I'll give you a banger TED Talk. Wait, what would it be about though? Because, like, a TED Talk is either supposed to be, like, a social commentary or something to, like, make you feel motivated in the moment, but not do anything about the revelation that the TED Talk person just taught you about. So what would it be? I should do a TED Talk about gaming. Motivational speaking on how to be a motivational speaker? That would- that'd be so good. <laughs> no, but like, let's think about it. Who is in the TED Talk demographic audience? College students? And probably other creatives or like, scholars. So they probably also want to do a TED Talk at some point. So you know what? They gotta learn. Let's do Manny. Let's test him out. Hey guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really tired. So I think I'm gonna pause here for today. Okay, we spent almost five hours leveling today. Let's review our team. We have Magnus level 40 and Manny at level 40. So next time, more leveling! More leveling! <laughs> okay, let's go heal and we'll wrap up. Yeah, it's just my, my arm is getting really tired. And plus, my sister wants to play video game. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys! We played Super Mario Party and it was really fun. I cannot wait to play it on stream. Because it has like a whole bunch of different game modes. And I, I do want to do another speedrun super, 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 super Mario Party. <laughs> There's so many Super Mario games. Okay, officially. The game has been saved. Hands off the timer. There we go. I would have to say Super Mar or Super Mario Party is really fun if you're gonna like play with people in person. Like it is really cute because there's a lot more like co-op game modes. But Super or Mario Party Superstars in general is just better. Like more polished. The games are better. But if you're like, if you're gonna play with your sister or other siblings or family, then Super 
Mario Party, I think is a better option. But you need to use Joy-Cons, that's what I didn't like. Okay, to review, guys, say hi, YouTube. To review, this is the end of day 18. What did we accomplish? We leveled up our Magneton and Manectric about 15 levels in five hours, not too bad. You know, I could go faster, but you know, we yap, 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 we do stories. Next time we do Peace Lock, I promise, day 19, we will face the 8th gym, and then we will prepare for the Elite Four, unless I somehow, like, fucking die. But, let's be honest, I have how many hours? 111 hours, 20 minutes, 51 seconds, and 0.85. There is no way I can lose with Electric Pokemon versus a Water Gym, but we'll see. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and if you want to watch live, make sure you follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. Okay, there we go. We're done. We're done. Oh, wait. I gotta write down my live split. Okay, guys. We're gonna wrap up gaming for now. But do not worry. Stream is not over. We did get a resub. So, if you use your channel points or subscribe, I will write your name. So, 101, 20, 51, Let's get some music on. While I'm getting the camera set up, if you guys could, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at peacein17 for weekly stream highlights, and the Clips channel for Slomp. And just a gentle reminder, we are nearing the end of May. So if we have any Oilers in chat, if you want a sketch card, make sure you gift subs by Friday. Which I'm probably not going to stream. Yeah, I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I have to work on edits. So the next time I stream will be Friday, but I'm going to do a 9 to 5 work sim. So we're going to be live all day. An another long stream. <laughs> so that'll be Friday. Because Jat voted on what we're going to do today. Let's see, what music do I want today? This compilation is called Video Game Songs I Think Bugs Would Like. Why does this sound like Christmas? Okay. Man, I look so much darker with the ring lights turned down. Don't worry, I'm not going to show feed for free today. Type 1 if you're disappointed, type 2 if you're wholesome. Farming ones and twos will never not be fun. Because I know- I'm putting my hair up. I know that's one of my favorite ways to engage as a viewer. I love tapping ones. Hi, Kim. Not the best. You guys can't see it anyway. Oh my god, there's two of me. Dang, no feet.
No, but seriously, what are we gonna do after I beat the peace law? You know, I've been relying on that for the past three months now. Dude, I started peace lock in March. No, like, because peace lock is taking so many hours, I have so many other, like, variety games in queue. Once again, thank you to X Decision for the seven month resub at tier one. Thank you for your continued support. Now for the brokies. I believe in socialism. Use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. I'm not even kidding. There's your hair. You didn't see that. Wait, Mac, I just remembered, when I be peace locked, you lose your VIP. Man, it's been so long since we've done calligraphy. Don't worry, Mac. You'll you'll get it back another day. You just got to keep saving up your channel points, right? We have one more name left. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Redeem now. I like this cerulean. Thank you for clocking in, Mint. <laughs> no one say I clocked in late, don't worry. It's totally not in the VOD. There's no proof. 
That's the one thing I kind of don't like about some of the Twitch UI functions. Like, unless the channel point alert is on screen, the VOD watchers don't see it. Like, it doesn't show up in the VOD chat. It's kind of annoying. That's why for some of my channel point options, it shows on screen now. Because that way it gives the VOD watchers and YouTube VOD watchers context. You have 353,000? Bruh. That's so many. Wait, maybe I should increase VIP the moment you get like 999. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Um, nobody's live, so no raid. But, thank you guys for watching any Shadow Slickers. I hope you guys enjoyed today. No stream tomorrow, Sag. I have an appointment. But I will be live again Friday for a 9 to 5 stream. So wake up early, set your alarms. We're working all day on Friday. So if you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video. Click the link. Go watch it now. I took chat to an island getaway. It's an edit of our Valentine's Day stream. So watch it now. Do it. And if you want to stay up to date with me, because I, I post sometimes. I'm not a social media person. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. Do it now. We also got a follower. Thank you for the follow today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you guys on Friday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, I'll see you then. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Ew, what is this music? Wait, this gets copyrighted. No. Okay, this music is getting removed from the comp. Super Mario 64 music gets claimed too, it's annoying. Anyway, glad I found it. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your Thursday. I'll see you all on Friday. Have a good one. Bye.